Alrighty, hello, hello. I hope everybody is doing well today and hope you're ready for some dwarfing. Now, we are going to go back to 1460, uh, back to when we spawned into the mountains because we were very, very dead as uh, as Virgil Dromek. We formed it in such a scuffed way. Honestly, I rushed to form it and I should not have rushed to form it. Uh, I was like, oh, I want to form it in the first stream, but that was a very big mistake. Um... I I mean, I checked out the last save we had. Uh, we were going to get hit by internal conflicts first, and it's going to cost like 300 admin points to stab up each time. So, and you have to get to stab one, so it's 300 times four, 1,200 admin points. And then you immediately go into the Virgil Dromac thing as well. Everybody's watching the vlog jump back and have to finish it. Well, as I said, we're, we're kind of restarting the dwarf part here today. Um, don't do disaster. True. True. Don't do disaster. I, if I say no disaster, they legally cannot start it. It is illegal. So we're going back to 1460. We're going to do the expeditions. We're going to expand much more slowly. And the reason we're going to do that is there's no real benefit. Also, is the music loud today? Is it just me? Uh, skill issue? Yes, it was a skill issue. Um, there's no benefit to forming Virgil Dromac quickly. There's literally only downsides. <laughs> it's literally only downsides. Like, the first mission of Virgil Dromac is to have three holds at level three, like, level three dig or more. So, there's no reason to rush through it. We could stay as an adventurer for a longer period of time. Uh, we will lose our adventure bus by the time we form Virgil Dromac, but that's fine. Um, we'll kind of see how it goes, though. Uh, I'm not saying hello to everybody yet. Uh, hello, Nurkor, Spin the Circle, Cortanair, Duker's Mom, Mr. The Old Pete's Misseldor, uh, Wolfen in Space, Amy, Valencia, uh, Duker's Mom, I don't know if I missed you. Uh, Mr., hello. Dead King Juan, hello as well. Should have done the lich should get the dig speed for mission tree. I mean, we did we did get the legendary necromancy, which is very funny, um, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that we have a scripted ruler that we get, so it would get rid of him anyways. Uh, Avg, thank you for the two months. I appreciate that. Well-deserved sub, keep the good content. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you for not bullying me, <laughs> like the rest of chat. Uh, uh, should use the GUI Benar mod, the dig UI is amazing. I don't know if you've picked it up, but I, I don't really like using sub mods, though. That's the thing. I like using the mod. I don't want to use the sub mod. Uh, might have bullied, but so the VODs on YouTube. That's true. That's true. The Harm Raj VODs are on YouTube. The Mix VODs are going to be up there today after stream, and then I'll probably be able to get these up as well. I've already got the uh, thumbnail for the Mix VODs ready, so I just have to actually get them uploaded. I just wasn't able to do that last night. So I was doing the last Eddie's back in video. I was trying to get that ready. And then I was planning on what I want to do next for YouTube, but I'm not exactly sure yet. Uh, but I think it might be Chang Bin Rung. I'm not sure. I know people, they say they want me to do some stuff in England here. I'm not really sure how great for YouTube that would be. Like, what, do I play the first 50 years or so? And then I switch over to the alien tier tag or do we do the first 50 and then go to the alien tier tag and start the series there. And then you're just playing an alien tier, which means you're just sitting there for a while. I don't know. I don't know. Guna Benar is buying ammo offers though. All right. Well, I might take a look at it. We'll we'll see. We'll see. No promises though. No promises. All right. Let's get to gaming though. I've already up to the restart counter. Don't worry. Restart six. All right. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything's working and good and and. Wonderful. Cue the music. Okay. So, we are the Axe Cartel. We have just spawned out of Raj and Nahaga. We start with 600 crowns, 8,000 manpower. Actually, we'll get some more. We're about to get an event that's going to give us a bunch of benefits. Uh, as for our government reform, we are going to get Serpent Spine Spelunky to get 5% extra expedition organization. Boom. Uh, we do start with the same ruler because we're at the same save, so that's good. Uh, as for education of the state, I think I want to go with the yearly devotion. 
and not the stab cost. Because it depends on how long we're going to be an adventure. Because we're going to have these for a while. So the protection efficiency could actually be useful. But advisor cost and the devotions is always going to be solid. Otherwise, we start losing devotion immediately. Uh, we'll save up for four. And we, I mean, in one of our expeditions, we'll probably get government reform progress. But for the rest, we'll probably just get the whole development. We got to run as these guys a little bit differently than most dwarves. Uh, as for our blessing, I think we actually go with the mine manuscripts of Meligar the Inventor first. Because we're not going to do any development super fast. I mean, we need to do our expeditions and then we have to go and take a hold, core the hold, move our capital to the hold, and then we can start developing. So I think I want the idea cost reduction more just to make sure that we can get through. Also, we're not taking court ideas. I misremembered how the disaster works. Like 10 million percent misremembered it. Uh, so we don't need court ideas at all. Uh, we'll see what we take though. I'm not exactly sure. We may want to go for an early infrastructure, even though we do need to take a lot over here. By doing that, I would want to focus admin, though. We'll see. We'll see. Apparently, I can seize land. Well, we don't need to mess with that, because we're about to lose it. Uh, it's just lots of Kong. Biggest mystery between Bimla and the Elves. Those are the mercenary guys, right? Uh, how important is it to do well as Raja Hunger if you're just going to switch? Uh, very important. Because if you don't... If you don't beat the command up, you're going to have a painful, painful, painful time going and fighting the command. Need a policy. Always go repression. The Serpent Spine. Go ahead and state that up. Turn that off. Turn that off. And we're going to upgrade our units here to mass clock or bows let's do that uh i'm not ignoring your question about the cats i'm just getting around to it we're gonna have a very difficult time subjugating the cats because they have a powerful mage ruler so we can't really beat them how would you get the god found achievement then you mean the one we have to start as a, a goblin and vassalize the command? Well, you just beat them, like, regularly. What is the cats in the mountains in the bit bucket? The cats, yes, the cave cats. These guys, right here. The Haramari, the cave cats. Well, you guys are acting like I'm a crazy person. The cave cats, they're right there. Uh, but yes, we do know where all the expeditions are. So we know that this is a silver long, I think. We know that we have two Mithril Long Expeditions as well. Uh, that is something to keep in mind. We are going to run advisors, but we need them up thick. An heir is needed. Let's go for the skilled adventurer, Captain. Wow, he's not even good as a general. Uh, and I, I suppose we can reread this. Uh, adventures in New World, though. So we gain a Conquistador, Adventurer Unity, uh, until 1500. So we only have 40 years. 40 years of 30% morale of armies, 10,000 manpower increase, 50% manpower recovery speed, plus 10 force limit, minus 75% land maintenance, and plus 50% national supply. We get a core on our capital, a bunch of pro a bunch of troops, and a bunch of support for the two institutions that we have already done. Let the event time out. No, I'd rather just get my stuff and be able to move. Thank you very much. Because now I can migrate away. Uh, yeah, we could read this first, though. The Beckoning Dark. From where they fled through the gates of Holaz Krakazol, the Amethyst Dwarves remember little. Many were simply too panicked in their hurry to leave. Many more were characteristically muddled by an overindulgence in ale, the same vice that led them to losing the key back inside. Some, though, remember hiding their tears of shame with their beards, bemoaning the fate that had now finally reached every corner of the serpent spine. They remember the sunlight, warm and unfamiliar, as it brushed against their skin like an unwelcome friend. These sober ones... Amongst them had to remind the others to not look directly at it as they made their way to Sharaja. Their new city was a good one, filled with precious gems. It was almost close enough to their home to become their next. The people there were skeptical, but quickly warmed to their masterful craftsmanship, especially once their kegs finally ran dry. Years passed, the dwarves gifted their new neighbors advanced medicine, delicious ale, new methods of irrigation. 
The dwarves watch as the pet days passed as the sunshine suffused and split apart in the gemstones of Sharaya. Sharaha, sorry. Shar Sharaya? I don't know. Their colors almost seeming to glow as bright as fresh dye. But still, it wasn't home. Still, those colors would simply bleed into white. Still, the amethyst dwarves longed. Now, news had reached them far, far in the west. A grand adventure to retake the serpent spine is underway. Already, some mighty holds have been repaired, with their squatters forced out of their original citizens resettled. Although many of those who fled have passed on, a great many more see this news as a sign to retake their old home. Though Holaz Krakazol is still locked, Grazamdi remains open, a door to the past and now the future. With Shiraja wishing them well, they step back into the mountains, bidding goodbye to the haunting light once again. The dank darkness of the Tree of Stone has always been a more welcoming friend. Gain a castle in our capital. Uh, these are Amethyst Dwarves. Why would they reform any hold besides hold crack? Uh, maybe they fixed their alcoholism problem. It's possible. It's not likely. They're dwarves, but it's possible. All right, Expedition. Silver and medium. Let's go ahead and organize it. Uh, some 10,000 troops. Let's prepare some supplies. Do I need to increase my morale? No. Do the 3k expedition again, try and finish it this time. We did finish it. We did, we just got scammed. <laughs> we, we, we just got scammed, I don't know what to tell you. Like it told us that we were gonna get a lot more loot than we ended up getting. Uh, this is only gonna get more expensive, isn't it? No, we'll hold on to it for now. You go ahead and drill the air. Because I need them dead. He's not very good. Uh, adventure party wipes. <sighs> nah, fuck that. <laughs> I'll be real with you. I'm going to be so real with you right now. No. Uh-uh. Not going to happen. Absolutely not. We got that event, I think, three times yesterday. Which makes no sense, because our adventuring unity is fine. I don't know if that's what it's tied to. But, oh my god. No thanks. I'm good. We didn't even make it to, like, a year. Man, we made, like, three months. No, I'm not. That's, same, that's a safe scum. That's a safe scum. That's not restarting. That's a safe scum. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do that. Do that. Yes. Embrace, embrace, great, great, migrate, uh, idea cost, and uh, gub reform, spelunking, reclaimers, native oppression, diplo points, expedition. Oh, it's... Oh, it's not the same every time. I thought expeditions were locked in uh, in 1444. Oh. Okay, then I'll count that as a restart. If it does change things like that, then I'll count it as a restart. That, that's fair. Their placement's like their quality is not. Oh, okay. This one's platinum and short. <laughs> 1444. I swear to God, if I get 200 loot off of a Platinum Danger, I'm not going to be a happy guy. Not a happy guy if that happens. Full reinstall the game? <laughs> no, I'd be free at that point. I'd never be able to come back. Do we just run with four morale? I think we do. You're lucky to spawn there. Uh, lucky to spawn here in Holaz Krakasil? Uh, yeah, it's random. As far as I am aware. You can spawn anywhere in the Tree of Stone here. So, we get pretty lucky. Reinstall windows. <laughs> Chance to break the cycle of EU4 addiction? I just replace it with another addiction, okay? Like, what's the point? What's the point? Adventure Wipes has exactly one condition. Be adventure. It's so it's, it's literally just random. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. 
Uh, we're going to set that. And then I'm going to spend the rest of my mill points there. I'm going to state that up. And... There we go. The air isn't bad. But you know what the air is not? A mage. Okay, I definitely want... We'll do... Okay, there we go. If we can just get this to max, then we'll make money off of this. It's fine. Hopefully we can get an early radical reforms. It would be nice. Mean time to happen is one day. That's horrendous. Why would they do that to me? <sighs> uh, Deep Rothe. The Rothe is a curious creature, living both in the light above and the dark below. They are excellent animals. They are strong. Their meat is tender, and their disposition is agreeable. It is therefore no wonder that the serpent spine once housed many of these beasts. Nowadays, most are imported from the surface, but some of them manage to survive the tunnels and caves on their own. A herd of these are just ahead, their fur long and tangled, their horns spiraling along their heads. They would make an excellent addition to our diet, but who knows what strength they possess if they survived here. Kill them for their meat. Uh, we've already lost one round. The Rothay posed no problem for our weapons. The docile beast didn't know what was upon them until it was too late. They were slow and sluggish, fattened by the serpent bloom that grows in these caves. Soon the entire herd lay victim to our cook's cleaver so that the expedition may now enjoy a fresh meal again. Finally, a break from the hard tack. 10% supplies. I swear to God, they die again. I'm not going to be a happy camper if that happens. I'll be a very upset camper if they die. <clears throat> what would Rothay taste like? Uh, cow. Beef. They're just... They're, they're just cave cows. That's literally what they are. Just cave cow. Or goat. True, I guess they could taste more like goat. Email on Dak. Uh, they have like 20,000 troops and Dak is probably still alive. Which means War Wizard. They both have War Wizards, which is very unfortunate for us. Uh, Hobgoblin Raiders. A forward scout hastily returns to the expedition leader. He tells a group of heavily armored red skin humanoids traversing the caves ahead. The leader recognizes the threat immediately. Hobgoblins. There's only one way to make these interlopers understand that they are unwanted, and that is a show of force. We are almost out of morale. A costly victory. Clashing steel, thundering guns, whirring bow bows, those are the signs of battle, and what a battle it was. After hours of skirmishes, clashing lines, and warfare, we have finally emerged victorious. The hobgoblins slain, red blood on red skin, soaking the ground. But next to them lie many of our adventures as well. Gain 150 loot and one morale. Lose 250 soldiers. That's really good for us. Roger Hunger gets faceting. Yep. There's forgery of documents. I will take those admin points. Thank you very much. There's a goblin summoner. Maybe this time we'll get lucky and be able to take some stuff. Uh, halt! The timid figure shouts from the precipice. Do not tread further, for this is the realm of Iglethob the Unfathomable. The scouts laugh and look at the goblin, prepared to circle around it, when he holds a crude wooden staff with a skull bound to the end over his hand. Consider yourself warned, or face wrath beyond your mortal capabilities. I'm serious. Looking at the goblin in confusion, one of the guards unsheaths his sword. So be it. The goblin shouts and pulls forth a hulking figure of rock, earth, and stone from the depths of the elemental planes before disappearing in a puff of smoke. The elemental reels back, then accelerates its arm towards the scout, slamming it down into the cold stone that a deep rumbling sound permeates the cavern. The scouts run back to the main expedition, but the elemental is just behind them. Shouting and screaming, the scouts arrive at the camp and warn the others of the looming threat when the elemental already circles around the last corner, smashing dripstones and hurling boulders in its way. With the expedition leader sufficiently alerted, he calls on the other soldiers to meet on how to approach this new enemy. We find the mage. We find the mage. 250 loot, 250 loot, 250 loot. Uh, where is he? Uh, in the frenzy of battle, the general managed to divert some troops to start a distraction further down the hallway, banging their shields and swords. This distraction worked, as suddenly the sorcerer appeared on an alcove above us, watching what made the sudden sound. Our archers took the shot and managed to pierce his robes and green skin, sending him flying over the precipice. As his body shattered upon the rocky floor, the elemental vanished, its boulders thundering to the floor, sending shockwaves through the cave. After inspecting the damage and losses, some explorers went over to the sorcerer's corpse to check for anything that might be valuable. 
Between mangled wands, ugly rations, and weird powdered fumes and vials, they also found some books, which upon further inspection seemed to be long forgotten scholarly work on conjuration. The mages rejoiced and immediately went to transcribe the text into contemporary works. Let's take a look at this other spell over here. 250 loot. Uh, hey, Milo. Uh, Goblin already dwindles. Okay. When the expedition returns, repay them in full and send them back out. 410 monies and 136 of each monarch point. I think we made a profit there. Not much profit off of mill. Not so sure. All right, we have one here. There's another one here, here, and here, I'm pretty sure. Scam. Well, it did say that it wasn't a very high loot thing. So I can't be too mad about it. And no, I'm not going to colonize. Yes, I know I have merchants. We can't see anything. And no, we don't have anything to convert. Okay? And no, I don't want to improve relations with anybody because it's a waste of time. I guess it's not a waste of time. It is kind of a waste of time, though. Check the RC. It's a save reload. Yeah. Let's save. Yesterday we did form Vorkal Dromac, but it was, the run was dead in the water. We were not going to survive. So... We know that they are right in here. All right. Which are you? This is gold and medium instead of mithril and long. This might be another restart if we can't get something decent on these. Uh, send 10,000. Food. Equipment for supplies. Remember some 300 amethyst? That was a great job. Yeah, it was, it was quite bad. You have to seven morale. Reset times. I mean, it might. It, we might have to reset off of this. Like we're gonna need a lot of a lot of stuff to make this worth it. Raja ally would be nice. It would be, wouldn't it? It would be nice if you could have allies as uh, Virkal Dromak, wouldn't it? It'd be really good. Unfortunately, it's kind of difficult to keep allies as uh, Virkal Dromak. Uh, Gelatinous Menace. Strange creatures, sentient, non-sentient, and semi-sentient alike, roam the depths of the Serpent Spine, looking for the few morsels of food the hard and unyielding rock offers. Some of these creatures have turned upon others in search of sustenance, but no other does so with an uncaring ambiguity like the great, the giant slimes dwelling in the pits. They creep up on unexpected creatures, encasing them in their slimy bodies. A few of these slimes have attacked, or to be more precise, just walked over a few of our explorers, suffocating them in gooey bodies. Uh, stand back. A strange sensation. The slimes give off a weird smell, and their bodies slosh with an uncomforting sound, but our men stand careful watch as we ready our assault. Just as we are about to attack the slimes, trying to save our allies, the slimes spit them out again. Shocked gasps go through the group as the slime-covered soldiers cough and gasp for air. A healer is quickly fetched to look at them, and he returns with a most peculiar report. The soldiers are not har harmed in any way. Indeed, they feel better than before. Their weariness and other maladies cured to conf the fusion of all involved. So if we... Yeah, if we go over and exploit this later, we'll be able to get some manpower recovery speed, I believe. But it's going to be so long away. We might as well just gain the organization of morale for right here, right now. Everyone, get in these slimes. Uh, two more restarts? Yes. Uh, no. Well, I, I suppose yes. The one restart from going back to 1460 today. And then we had a restart. I moved here. Three months later, I got an adventuring party wipe and I restarted. Because I'm not losing the stability three months into my restart. What's the point? What's the point? I want a good run. Uh, drums in the deep. Bellowing screams and drum-like pounding echo through the winding hallways. Sure signs that there are cave trolls nearby. Despite their sluggish movements and stupid grimaces, they do know how to kill. They have been cornered into a cave with no other exit and the stopping of feet to draw ever nearer to us. 
As the sword plunges through the last living troll, the expedition rejoices. Around them lie the misshaped bodies of dozens of cave trolls, their skulls split open, skulls, or skin split open, skulls bash. The drums have gone quiet, and safety has returned to these halls for now. Uh, obviously, we want to have secrets in the dark, so we're going to hold off on this. Laws are illegal here. Wait a second. Wait a second. How does that work? Uh, eyes in the dark. Over the past few sunless days, deep in the Dwarvar, a strange gleaming eye has followed us. A seasoned bestiarist has identified the strange creature to be a Nothic, a mage whose search for the arcane has led them to a terrible curse that reduces them to nothing but a shadow, a husk of their former self. Now, a guard, an explorer, and a mage stand before the expedition leader to debate what should be done with them. Leave it alone. No secrets to be gained. The Nothic continued to stalk our expedition for some time, and it still haunts the sleepless nights of some of our men. The first night, when the eye was not seen at all, all merited a tenuous, straining watch, filled with gruesome thoughts of where the creature might be hiding now. As the days passed, however, we concluded that it was not in hiding, but simply left us behind. Whether it has learned our secrets or just lost interest, no one can truly say. Just He's just a homie, okay? The Nothic's just hanging out. I don't know why everybody's hating on the Nothic. Please have some good expeditions for these three. Please, 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 please. They figured out our forged documents. Don't know who figured out about our forged documents, but they did. Uh, 222 ducats and 74 of each monarch point. Which means we lost monarch points there. <sighs> worth? No, no, it was not worth. We'll see what this one is. If this one isn't good, we're going to have to go back. <laughs> scam, yes. It was a scam. I would love to take this Miltech. I really would, man. Really would. But I need to make sure I can do my expedition. What hole do you need to settle? The one over here. It's not going to be a while till we do our formable. It's a bait. It's a bait to form vocal Dromax too fast. You just get another disaster. Like, immediately. Well, that's not true. It's not immediate. You do have to do something to make it start, but... If you want to, uh... Do any missions, you have to do it. Uh, take those 50 diplo points. Thank you very much. Why are you crying? I've always been trash. You're so wrong. That's crazy. That's a crazy thing to say. What a crazy thing to say that expeditions are trash. Uh, I'll take the cheaper advisor. Expeditions are busted. I love them. Mithril and medium. Okay. Alright, well, let's see what happens here. I mean, anything in it, but it feels like there's something in it. Expeditions are so good. That's that's crazy. You must be trolling right now. There's no way you're not trolling. Max out that morale. Get our organization to like 160. Uh, party share. We can go like 500, I guess. It's a bit much, but. I'd rather make sure they get back. Do I want to do another organization? Yeah. Good luck, boys. These are the ones with like estates. I find a waste of time. Last one I had 30 extra time touched. You're just. You're just leaving monarch points there. Like they're just sitting there. All you have to do is move 10 troops there, click the button. You can just click through the events. Like, most of the time, there's not even really a decision to be made. Uh, I can get Inno for taking the Diplotech. Loss of Inno for the Miltech, though. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Okay, uh, first idea. It's not going to be infrastructure. Even though that's usually what I would go for. But I need to catch up on the admin. In fact, I'm going to start focusing admin here. 
I think we go for a mill idea. We could go for... Honestly, we might want to go defensive as much as I hate to say it. They're worth it, no final satisfying. I mean, that's fair, but that, that's a different argument. It's literally just monarch points. No, I can't take infrastructure. I need to make sure I catch back up on Adam and Tech, and then I can take another idea group, and then we can take infrastructure. Or at least do them to prevent the province debuffs after a while. That's true. They do give province debuffs. They will tank a province and an entire state's prosperity if you don't deal with them. Quantity... Quantity is... Quantity, quantity, really? Quant uh, I don't know, man. I, I always have a hard time picking quantity. Offensive Inno is so good. Yeah, yeah. Offensive Inno. Offensive Inno. Always go Offensive Inno. I get it. I know. You get lots of innovativeness. You can use the all-power cost. You get the tech cost. Right. I know. It's good. You can siege really fast, but it's boring. <laughs> it's boring. You use more points on your expeditions than you get back? Uh, well... That's because I'm just very risk averse when it comes to them. You could take more risks, and also you get money. You don't want to use them; it's whatever. But I will say you are incorrect for not using them. Uh, often in skip events, sometimes you find out your final score. I mean, that would be kind of boring, though, right? If you don't go, do you say you disrespect him personally? Actually, you personally must hate him if you do not take Inno ideas. It's the only explanation. Fifty percent more morale means you spend less on expeditions. Just saying, you got a point there. You do have a point there. What do we get with uh, infrastructure? More attrition for enemies and more garrison size. Are we really about to meme attrition? Oh, it's just not good. It's just not good. It's just not good. Fuck. Defensive econ gives dev cost bonuses? Uh, I guess development costs and primary culture. Sure, that's true. But I don't plan on taking economic anytime soon. What's fitting for sleeper dwarves? I don't even... Nothing. Nothing. There's no, like, mage ideas or anything. Ammon, you're a hardcore Ammon supporter? Nice. I love blobbing. <laughs> blobbing is good. We'll go defensive, okay? We'll go defensive. It's fine. Like, defensive is good. Don't get me wrong. I just... Ugh, defensiveness. Uh, Glaring the faint bioluminescence of the cavern walls lies a pool of clear, calm water. It's surfaced like a mirror. Soon, the first soldiers arrive at the shore. Their water skins ready to be refilled. Uh, yep. Refill it. We are reinvigorated with 3% supplies. Not in for first? No. Because I want to catch up on my admin tech, and at tech 7 I get another idea group anyways. And by the time that I can use infrastructure, uh, hopefully, I will have already have had it. Because remember, what we need to do, we need to do the rest of these expeditions, get up here, win a war against the, probably the command and the goblins. Take the goblins out, core it all up, and then we can start using infrastructure ideas. So, we'll see how it goes. Uh, do a quick download of Homebrew Mod and meme the defensive turtle style. Laugh and need to be sieged by 80,000 stacks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hogan Raiders. A forward scout hastily returns to the expedition leader. He tells of a group of heavily armored red skin humanoids. We've already read that today. And we have a costly victory. Gain one morale. Mm -hmm. Going deeper. That's good. Now for this one. I'm going to need... Is it 200 for tier 5 here? <clears throat> 220. Okay. Uh, wandering Husks. Many terrorists stalk the caverns of the Servant's Mine, but none are so apathetic to their own dangerousness as wandering husks laden with poison. Each death they exude wafts of poisonous gas, dispersing it into the thick air around. A group of these monsters has just crossed paths with our expedition. We cannot easily get rid of them, but concerted charge would just rile them up even more, their poison taking countless casualties. Not only is the husk gas poisonous, it is also easily flammable, as we found out the hard way. A single carelessly dropped torch rolling towards one of the husks was enough to cause a great explosion, triggering even more husks to explode. The shockwave and subsequent inferno luckily caused more injuries than casualties, 
but not all were so lucky. Uh, I don't care about trade efficiency or tax with with these guys. We, we lost 0 0.02 ducats. Oh no. Uh, what happened in terms of restarts? My garage attack? No, we were just dead. Yesterday's save was not going to work. There was going to be too many disasters back to back, and it, it just would not have worked. You have to, you have to just trust me on that one. It wasn't going to go well. More hobgoblin raiders. At least we gain morale and loot from the Hobgoblin Raiders. There are way worse events to have. Okay. Well, we've at least made back our loot here. Uh, just don't get disasters. Who are we playing as? Who are we playing as? Are we playing as an elf? No. Are we playing as a goblin? No. We're playing as dwarves. And you know what dwarves do? We get into disasters, okay? There's no way around it. That's just the way it is. Okay, are you even truly a dwarf if you don't have disasters? No, but if you get them too soon, you die. So we have to just kind of put the disasters off, put it, you know, a couple years down the line, and then we can be real dwarves. God, no disaster, no disaster. What's the point? What's the point? We just win the game in uh, 1500 because we're dwarves? No, we must suffer. <laughs> it is the, the dwarf way. Uh, elves do get some disasters. True, it's called being an elf. What a disaster. <laughs> Got him. Uh, almost out of nowhere, a gigantic army of goblins descend upon us. Crawling out of every nook and cranny, every small tunnel and crevice around us, with spit flutched teeth and crude yet painful weapons. They scream in anger, preparing for their attack, striking fear into the eyes and hearts of our explorers. A decisive strike. Quickly, our soldiers scramble to the front and prepare for impact. Shields and spears ready for the onslaught. As the goblins approach, they are met with grim resolve, metal striking metal, steel scraping on crude armor. We slay countless of their number, and the rest soon flee. Lose 300 soldiers, gain 200 loot, and gain 0.5 morale. Wait, is it, I'm not an elf. What are you? I'm not an elf. We're playing doors. Woo, seems like I'm not getting any sleep tonight. That's right. Wait. No, you should actually, you should still get sleep. Sleep is good for you. I was going to get a lot of sleep last night. I was ready to go to bed, get a little snooze in, and then, then I took a shower, and I was in the shower too long. And then I was like, well, you know, now I'm all like, I'm still kind of like drying off from the shower. I might as well just watch another YouTube video, right? Well, <laughs> where's the worst that could happen? And I was up for like another hour. I was close. I was close to getting a good night's sleep. So close. Uh, are we beer doors turn all season to beer? If we put our capital here, yes. Uh, XPC returns. We gain 700 ducats and 233 of each monarch point. Ancient Dwarven knowledge. So I need basically 180. What's what's eight times 15? Whoa, what's eight times 15? Guys, 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 what's what's eight times 15? Quick math, quick math, quick math. Eight eight times 15. It's 120. Oh uh, yeah. Let's do that. Quick maths, quick maths. Not good maths, quick maths. Bro, I haven't... I used to be able to do math in my head. Not anymore, though. Definitely not anymore. All of them gosh dang video games. Uh, we can take the first defensive idea. Sure. Quick maths that are slow maths. Yes. yes. That's true. Quick maths are something, you know, it's like the Greenland Iceland thing. You don't want to see, you want to know what you're doing here, so you just trick them by saying quick maths, so it's actually very slow maths. Video games made me better at math, not me. <laughs> uh uh. Hey, there's radical reforms. I do want to keep the goblin, but, uh. Yeah, I don't care about this guy. He's back. <laughs> He's back again. It's the same guy. I thought I fired you. At least he'll make a little bit more money. All right, there's the admin, and now we'll be able to take this admin tech. Then we'll be good to go on taking infrastructure ideas because we're dwarves, and you take infrastructure ideas because it's crack for dwarves. Gotta calc my chance of hitting an XCOM. You're not calculating anything. It's just, it's luck. It's luck. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it says. You're, it's just luck. You're gonna miss that 90% shot. You know you are. Like we, we all know. You're not gonna get that 49% siege in the U4. It's not gonna happen. The 63%. It's not gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. 
There's another expedition up here. Show of strength. Um, they have powerful mages. So I don't think we can beat them. I think we would get thrashed if we tried to fight them. Plus, it's kind of a waste of time. Not the show of strength part, but I'm going to migrate over here, do the war, and walk away. I don't think it's worth it. Corrupted. Well, not losing the stability. Again. Alright, we are drilling and chilling, as you do as adventurers. Professionalism is up to 5.03, not bad. We're going to run to this again, where these guys are going to want to... Tussle. Maybe they've lost their powerful mage. Nope. They do only have 14,000 troops right now. Do you think we win? Do you think we win these? I don't know. They are Haramari. They're going to have better troops than we will. They're going to have the powerful mage. I'm pretty sure they kick our ass. Like, we can make a save and try. It doesn't count as a restart. We're doing science, okay? But I don't think we beat them. Don't think it happens. What are they doing? <laughs> they just didn't they just didn't put their war wizard in charge? Okay, cool. Never mind, we're fine. What the fuck? Why why would they not I don't know. That's crazy for them. Free vassal? No, I did a show strength war. I did I'd have to make a claim. I didn't have time. And I'm fine with this. It's a lot of monarch points. It'll help me get through my ideas. Streamer luck over here. I, I, honestly, I think they just threw. I don't know if it's anything to do with luck. And another proof cats don't belong in the mountains. True. Stupid cats. All right, and we have an expedition we can do. Mithril and long. Okay. 1900 loot to 3100 loot. Well, we're just going to max everything then. We could make some upfront payments. 500 crowns? Hello? Didn't this used to be like 100? What the f That's crazy. That is not worth it. That's insane. What are we buying them? It's actually going to be cheaper for us to just do this. I want to be a 10. Increasing his late game, you would never not do it. That's a good point, I suppose. You do know the experience will always be the same level every time you reload, right? They are not. I also thought that, but they are 100% not. 100% not. Alright, not I promise. It's already been done today. They're in the same position, but they do change. Okay. It gets determined when you migrate. Does it get determined when... So when the first person migrates to them, it gets locked in? Okay, party share, you said, yeah, 600. Well, actually, no, it needs to be more. Not 800. 
I think we go 700. You get scammed again? I mean, surely this cryptocurrency will work this time. Surely this cryptocurrency we're investing in, the Haramari coin, will be good. It's not a rug pull, guys, okay? You're being dramatic. It's fine. It'll be fine, okay? My friend assures me that it's very real and it's fine. It's good. It works. Uh, he says it's backed up by, like, really big names that I will not name. Uh, it'll be great. Uh, if you say it enough, it might not be cope. <laughs> <laughs> saying that is cope <laughs> don't trust cryptocurrency please for the love of god how many times do people have to get scammed ducats are worth more than crypto <laughs> true at least at least the ducat has a a uh, stable value what about 100 point mu coins <laughs> there are, oh, i got bad news dog there ain't no such thing as a point mu coin uh in the tunnel ahead a particularly bendy and tight passage to the under rock our soldiers came upon what at first seemed to be cobwebs Thin white strands laced the walls and blocked the path forward. Upon some initial inspection, the material turned out to be extremely easy to break. This made many reluctant to just walk through, waiting for the expedition leader's assessment of the situation. The dry cough. Essentially, um, they got caught. When the first soldiers started coughing, no one suspected anything. Then, later, more and more soldiers were packed by fits of dry coughing and shortness of breath. The expedition had to take breaks more and more often. Some started complaining about how hard the recent days were. Some had trouble swallowing. After a week of symptoms here and there, the expedition leader called a meeting to discuss what to do. Since most people were still healthy and those that were coughing slowed the expedition down significantly, it was decided to send the sick back home where they could receive a proper diagnosis and care. Well, that's nice. Surely it won't worsen. That event could have gone much worse. <laughs> Abestos coin, the <laughs> new great currency. That's right. Uh, drums on the deep. Bellowing screams and drum-like pounding echo through the winding hallways, sure signs that there are cave trolls nearby. Despite their sluggish movements and stupid grimaces, they do know how to kill. We have been cornered into a cave with no other exit, and the stomping of feet draws ever near. As the sword, yeah, we read this. Okay. With my morale, we can take the next mill idea here to get that morale of armies. I think we're gonna have too many diplo points. Which I suppose is not necessarily a problem, but. Of it. Uh, they are above us. The expedition enters a wide cavern full of stalactites, while shimmering with strange minerals. Distracted by the unique beauty, they notice too late that there are no stalagmites under their hanging counterpart. Then a veritable legion of piercers, larval ropers descend from the ceiling like vultures, impaling the unsuspecting expedition. Our spears make quick process of the lurking larvae, impaling them before they can do much more damage to our troops. Soldiers stab around them with enough awareness to not hit their fellow explorers, trying to hit as many slithering creatures as possible. The frenzy comes to a close when the last piercer slithers away and flees. 25 morale. Nice. Are you going to point No. There. I'll tell you right here, right now, I will never make a crypto coin. <laughs> that's, that's such an easy thing for me to promise. I uh, don't need 30k poi coins for the cube. No, those aren't poi coins. Those are channel points. Okay. The channel points, which have no no economic value. So I guess you could say that they are crypto coins since <laughs> in a way. What if NFTs? True. The poi NFTs. It's, it's just a picture of a penguin that I took off the internet. That's all it is. Uh, that'll be $2,000, please. Uh, choking death. Transparent clouds of gas sometimes get wedged into the corners of the serpent spine, silently floating without disturbance for centuries. These gases are often dangerous due to the lack of oxygen for poor travelers traversing the labyrinthine paths of the ancient caverns. One such bubble of gas has now enveloped our expedition, making many explorers and scouts dizzy from the lack of oxygen. But since the gas is colorless and odorless, there's no way for our explorers to know until it is almost too late. As the science towards the gas being the culprit behind the increasing discomfort, ex the expedition leaders presented with three options. On a different path. There we go. Save passage. Gas, light it up. What could go wrong? True. True, true, true. How does Channel Point into monkey picture? <laughs> into funny monkey picture. Or you just have funny monkey pictures that are free to look at. I don't know. That's just my idea. How do dwarves know the concept of oxygen? fair point 
Uh, bug bears? Goblinoids are no uncommon sight in the surface spine with all the goblins and such, but there are some rare sights that are rather unexpected, such as bugbears, hulking, furry menaces which stand at the top of goblinoid hierarchy. They enslave other goblins, raid, plunder, feast, and lie. A band of such creatures, clad in crude armor and armed with spikes and clubs and maces, has been on a collision course with us for the past few hours. Uh, as our scouts report, quickly the expedition leader assembles a small council to debate how to approach this threat. As further reports come in, the situation becomes clear, but also more dire. There is a surprising amount of them, they have an entourage. Let's make a show of force. A show of strength. Falling back for a moment to regroup, we prepared a powerful show of strength. By increasing our combat width, filling out the entire width of the cave, putting on grim faces, and staying just slightly on our toes, we managed to look like an impressive force, almost like an army in its own right. This accomplished what we wanted. As soon as the bugbears turned the corner towards us, they froze in place. Insecure looks left and right, they were quickly routed and fled without a single drop of blood wasted. 25 morale, we gain 50 loot and 2% of supplies. Uh, let's just share what I missed. Yep, we're just doing some adventuring. We gain 757 monies and 252 monarch points. I don't want to do it, but I know I have to. Such a waste of points. I could just develop, actually. But now I can't. 252? Man. <sighs> uh, ancient Dormant Knowledge. So I need... I think we're fine. migrate over here. Ooh, gold. Let's do the next expedition. Platinum and medium. Okay. That is not a lot of loot. Send 10,000 men. Prepare just with admin points. Supplies. Let's raise morale once. Let's raise organization once. Actually, let's raise morale twice. And let's set party share to 200. We might not make much off of this. Actually, frick you. You only get 100. What's the worst that could happen? These guys can't attack us because we have a truce. Yes, I have not taken the reform because I want to take secrets in the dark because you get three more expeditions. Uh, goblin ambush. Almost out of nowhere, a gigantic army of goblins descend upon us, crawling out of every nook and cranny. Yes. Death to the Greenskins, a decisive strike, 200 loot, 0.5 morale, lose 300 soldiers. Is that the Adventure Haramaris? Yes, it is. And we've already beaten them. Uh, I'd rather take the Miltech, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'd rather take the Miltech. We are going to keep maxing on Diplo, though, so maybe I should have taken the Diplo idea, but once we own land, like, we'll be fine. What is their gov? It is currently a chiefdom. They're a tribe. They're a Dwarvar warband. So they're like orcs. Like what the orcs have. Uh, bug bears? Show of force. And it worked. We are about to max out on Diplo points. I'm going to choose to do a point of development. It does make us more money while we're on the gold. Uh, but we will probably take that tech early, but obviously I want to not do that for as long as possible if I don't get Inno. Now... Do I take the admin tech? Right? Meow. I could stab up. I could. Yeah, I could go to stab one instead of getting the inno for it. Yes, I know we'll get points in the expedition. 
that, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make sure that we don't waste our points here. The dev stays. Yeah. I think we just stab up. There's no reason for me to take this. It's 40% more expensive. That's 850 admin points. I don't need that. I could instead just stab up. Uh, which I think does give us more adventure immunity. We are about to lose the inno potential on the diplo tech. I think we'll have time though. Well, thank you for the 19 months. Appreciate it. Very kind of you. Uh... How's it going? It's going good. Get the loot out of the slime. Thank you. Give us the loot, please. The loot, the loot, the loot. Dip cap can always mercantilism it up. True. I don't want to, though. I'd rather spend the dip low and get the inno for that than boost up mercantilism. Uh, and let's have free dump. Mill can be general cycle. Yeah, I mean, really, you just want to develop with your points, but yeah, there's not quite an admin. I mean, I guess buying down inflation. Buying down inflation would be the the admin one. How many people do I have left in this expedition? Not many for very long. We're gonna make some good loot off of it, though. Maybe I should just be more risky with my expeditions. Raj is fighting command right now. Yeah, I'll take it. At least we got another year. they get back home. Really? Only 200 of each monarch point? But we barely spent anything, and there was like a thousand loot. Man. Scam. A lot of money, though. Uh, Miltech? I don't think I have any reason to take. I can either wait for it to get to 20%, or I can just take an idea. All right, so I'm gonna fight the goblins. I can also gain 15 prestige before we leave here. Ooh, I could have grabbed that inflation reduction mission. That's okay. Yes, that is the Raj beating the command. Treasure, let's say you get on loot. Yeah, I just wish I had more monarch points. There's a lot of money though. It's a lot of cash. Do I care about this tech as much as I care about plus one land leader maneuver? Not particularly. Sorry, no, that's the opposite. I mean, I don't care about the maneuver as much as I care about the tech. <laughs> uh, this does give us military tactics. I doubt the command will have the tech seven. Cost 671. I'm taking it. I am over my force limit though, but that's okay. Because we're going to go fight the command probably. Okay. Ancestral claims. I'm not losing government reform progress. Thank you very much. We keep migrating. We can take the first infrastructure idea, gold prosperity growth and state maintenance reductions. Let's get 10% manpower in true faith provinces, which will come in handy, hopefully. Also, by not expanding as quickly into the command, but like truce breaking, it's push, push, push. I can also actually colonize this stuff. 1,000 divided by seven years old. Bro, I don't know. I'm streaming, bro. You want me to do math while I'm streaming? Really? I can barely keep track of the game. I don't have the brain power to also do math. It's just not there. A dude's only got so much brain power. I simply do not have the bandwidth. I'm so sorry. 
Uh, do I just have an Aminar? Just stop. And get rid of those guys are frustrating. Oh, I remember those. Um, the in chaos? We're not in chaos. Devon, I guess. So many promises, man. True. I, it's like this is a lot of work. Okay? There's a lot of there's a lot of people keep track of right here. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We got like 21,000 dudes here, and all the wars that I'm in right now, like, oh man, it's just. I didn't grab the prestige. <laughs> Damn it, dude. I'll click this now. It's kind of bad. Commandant has died, which is unfortunate. I do have a half-price advisor, though. Uh, policies would you get from tolerance? Tolerance isn't worth it unless you're blobbing, though. Less land attrition. I was thinking about he who and the goblin, so I won't lie. Sorry. Chaos pirates. Oh yeah, they're down like the very far south, right? My air is needed, and I will go for a powerful mage, please. Three six one mage is rather disappointing. I'm gonna go ahead and turn him into a general and drill him. Would rather have someone better. Better mill. Prince the Dawi or Gabo race war man. I mean that yeah, that tracks. That would that would make sense. That prevents that. <laughs> you mean the free army tradition? <laughs> the free army tradition though? I will click this before we migrate. I will not forget this time. I will remember. I will. Do I build more troops? If the command is allied to the Gabos, then I should build more troops. If the command is not allied to the Gabos, then I should not. Also, I did just lose my six shock general right before we were actually able to fight, which is sad. He won't. No, I will. I will. I will, I will, I will. I will remember. I will not forget. I will use brain. Use brain good. Uh, he's dying to the Raj now. That's what I'm saying. We might just be dead still. We, we may still be dead. Sigma, I remember. He hasn't started colonizing here yet. It's honestly kind of best case scenario, to be honest. Did you upgrade Bitbucket? I did not upgrade the Bitbucket because we were on the same save. I didn't want to risk breaking anything. Uh, but, my summer say construction cost. I do have the latest version of the Bitbucket downloaded. I just haven't put it into the folder. Uh, fat Adventurer Captains. Don't really want to lose 100 crowns. Is that Rebels? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead anyway. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're just... Fine. Maybe maybe when you're playing as these guys, you just need to turn on No Great Conquerors until the second age. Because holy shit. This Raj is going to eat us for breakfast. Oh, boy. All right, let's see what we got up here, though. They are, in fact, allied to the command. Which means I need to build... More troops. Uh, the command owns Sarlavan again. Interesting. And they are tech five. Make sure to send our actually good leader up, please. You. We could take another defensive idea. Don't see any reason why we would not. Uh, it's another minus 10% construction cost. Case of goblin tolerance is nice. Let's grab three troops. And uh, we're going to go colony development boost. 
those three can start to siege that down and we will protect them. Mm -hmm. But we're checking out if you're on the steam. There's currently anything getting pushed. Yeah, there's a lot of good UI stuff that's been changed. Um, I mean, just keep in mind there are, you do pose the risk of encountering bugs when you're on the Bitbucket stuff. But I mean, for the, I, there's only been one time when it's been like a truly game ruining bug that's been the bit bucket and it was fixed pretty quickly that was when every vassal was a yosahar oh my god that was bad the last drop diplomatic insult on roger okay. that was when we were doing the i think it was the first lake fed run that we did and every single subject type became a yosahar which was horrendous it was so bad because the centaurs would go and they would make the lake fed members into their tributaries through the cb but they wouldn't become tributaries they would just become yosahars and it just made it to where every single tag just started to blob like crazy just had so many subjects but they couldn't ever annex their subjects and so it was just like sure everybody just kept gaining more and more subjects but they were just unannexable and so it just became a pain in the ass for literally every tag funny to look back on not funny at the time though oh that was the worst truly the worst of days but that was the only time that it's ever been like i it's like unplayable we'll run into some visual bugs and stuff um some things that won't be completed but i've come around to playing on the bit bucket how do we die uh i rushed too much i'm gonna try not to do the same thing again I need to leave, like, you need to be attached. So remember, the goal is to just annex this guy and maybe take war reps off the command. If we take money, we'll gain, like, 20 inflation. But it's to take this and start building up our country. Go through with these troops. To 10 to 1. Thank you for the 3.72 war score. I really shouldn't be on speed 5 for this, by the way. A little bit griefing. It sucks that they got Sarla, Saril Avon back. Another infrastructure idea. Let's hold on to our admin points. We are about to max out on our Diplo. It's fine some development. I mean, here's the command. There's stolen gem. We obviously want to fight the goblins, preferably. Question is, will they let me get away with that? And scorch that. Let them unsiege this stuff. I'm pretty sure it's most of the troops. There's another stack somewhere of the commands. No. I want to see what they do. It's going to pretend like we're going to walk away here. There they are. Why are they so low on morale? That's weird. Thanks for the war score, though. Why am I still alone? Maybe they're fighting rebels or something. They're also with Ashikuma. Maybe that's it. Yeah, I guess they were retreating. I guess maybe they lost a battle to Ashikuma. I'm not sure what these guys are doing, but I need to push them out of here. Maybe we do the trick again where we scorch this. Looks like they were interested in moving this way. Yes. Awesome. Uh. Ooh. I think. I just take this fight. We should wipe him. He's tech four. Okay, 
Well, as long as he's distracted here, let's walk here and make sure he doesn't try and leave. So that's now the full occupation of Stolen Gem. They have no troops. So that's good. Tech one? What? No, they're, they're not in tech one. We do have four shock general here. We have a three shock though. We're gonna get a defensive fight on the road, so they're gonna get a minus one penalty. They are still tech five. I'm gonna hire this morale of army sky temporarily. We're gonna have 5.3 morale compared to their 3.2. One Sally out. good. Yeah, I think it's worth it to spend the money for the mill points at the mo or the morale at the moment. Alright, I will fight this 11k right here. Beautiful. Pretty sure he just got ping-ponged. He retreated down here and then he immediately started retreating back up. I think he got to ping-ponged. may go for a white piece with the command. We'll see. They don't have anything on the hold. Let's go occupy it. Let's find a command for maps. Uh, Yeah, we are actually caught up on Diplotech this time. Last time we were like three or four Diplotechs behind because we had to buy down war exhaustion because of our truce break. I'm very smart. And I decided, yo, y'all, just truce break. Right? It'll be fine. Never never worth it. It's almost literally never worth it to truce break. Just such a bad idea. It's so many points. It's so many points to, to pay off a truce break. You have to have a real good reason. And I did not have a good enough reason. We also took court. Yeah, true. We also took court ideas. Because I thought that would somehow matter. It's not based on loyalty of mages. It's based on their influence in the disaster reducing their influence which means court does absolutely nothing okay he's no longer at war with uh, the oni so i do wonder where he's gonna go next uh do you move cavalry over the other side hold next to the oni uh, yeah, it will get moved when we click the decision, but we are going to move our capital to here. Manually. Because this is going to be our capital for a while. And I want zero autonomy in the hold as well. Surrender? Yeah, yes, they, they did surrender. This is true. Just kind of hoping to get money out of the command, though. Uh, expedition came home with zero morale, 100 soldiers, 700 loot. Nice. They're like crawling back into your camp. The wool seems good too. Yeah, but I can't take that in this war. Command will not separate piece me out. Why? I guess he built more troops and he's feeling a little bit more confident about it. Seems a little foolish to me, but okay. I do want a white piece with him. I don't want a long truce. Yeah. Yeah, I think we literally just white piece him. You walk back, and you will get full annexed. Your money will give me one inflation. We'll survive. Okay, we now have the question. What do we do with the Gabos? What do we do with them? Because... If we keep them, we have to convert them. So 
they even give construction time modifier anymore? Uh, doesn't look like it. Looks like it's local regiment cost reduction. Yeah, it would require a non-dwarf hold, which I mean is fine. We're, ancestor we're currently ancestor worship. I'm not sure what religion will go. I want to always swap because ancestor worship requires the AI to also do well to get your bonuses, which kind of sucks. Love dwarf minority too. We can do a poll, I suppose. It's 40 development. We need to get that to 40. Ugh. It's mostly god lost. A little bit of goblinistic shamanism. Which is weird. truce breaking so we have time to convert it I suppose okay start building spy network we max out on our diplo points so unfortunate uh, do not take that next defensive idea or Six years. We have a five mil reload. We can take the next defensive idea. My 7% fort maintenance and my plus 25% fort defense. We have to promote mercantilism. No, I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to do either of those things. I could have just clicked secrets in the dark and thrown points into it to store them. Uh, let's go for hold restoration for the construction cost reductions. That's uh, that was a that was a mistake. I should have done that. Okay, send ten thousand dwarves down here, and let's begin colonizing. Oh my god, dude, they're gonna. He's even worse. How is that possible? How is that possible that he's even worse, man? Put you back to a level one guy. Venturing unity, it's gonna start going down because we have too many provinces. Uh, well, he's zero mil, man. That's so sad. Okay, so now we have a couple things we need to save for. We need to save for tech. We need to save for ideas. We need to save for hold repairing. I suppose right now. Uh, no, let's let's deal with the rebels and then we will do some expeditions. I think that's the correct order of operations here. Otherwise, we may get ourselves in over our heads. Uh, we could take Diplotech early, though, for some Inno. We can even wait for the year tech. We'll accept the Gavos. I hope he likes windows. <laughs> I hope he likes long drops. I mean... Oh, yeah, I need to... Thank you. I forgot. I had to... Um, yeah, I'll take it. Oh, that unpause almost just ruined it. I didn't even get a general on this stack for the rebels. Three days. Damn. 
Mission tree lowers gobbo tolerance. Does it really? Does it actually, or are you just saying that? <laughs> Does it actually do that? It lowers it once. Okay, well, once isn't the end of the world. Okay, do these rebels, and then we will be good to do the expedition. <sighs> One diplomat is cruel. It's, it's very rough. Can't do anything. But to be fair, we don't really need the diplomat for anything anyways. Now this, this is rough. Plus 15 a year for two ducats a month. Oof, oof, oof. Uh, Dwarvot 66? Yes, that can absolutely get more defensiveness. Holy cow. That's very nice. Let me get the bad air general. It's not that he's bad. It's just not good <laughs> it's just not it's not it's not great it's not exactly what i want yeah i'm gonna have to reduce that uh, i want him dead train policy for command for spy generation i don't think it's worth it i'd rather just make the money not that we make much money make make two ducats from trade pays for the colony Uh, need those expansion dudes and to be an actual hold to not get crap colonization. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's check our expeditions here. What do we got? Mithril and long, silver medium, and silver medium. Well, let's just get the mithril and long out of the way, shall we? Emerald spire. Send you up here. Not the cannon. Thank you very much. And let's do it. The loot is not looking great for it. Supplies. I mean, we need to kind of split up our monarch point usage here a bit. I do think we want to max morale. I don't think we want to max organization, though. I think 155 will be fine. And then... Party share. <sighs> do I want to be safe or do I want to be risky? I think we want to be safe at this point. We could just go like 400. Eighteen divided. Yeah, I know eighteen divided by three is six hundred. But the, you want to go for the minimum estimated loot number, which is eleven hundred, which isn't a direct dividable by three. So you go twelve hundred. That's four hundred. So it's a little bit more than what we need. Uh, let's hope they're fine. Well, I'm sure they'll be fine. And you can start to drill. Twenty crowns for a global seller increase. Thank you. Goblin minorities immigrate elsewhere. Okay. You are allowed to do that. Settlement or settler initiative. They want to go to Dwarvon sixty four. No, thank you. I cannot afford to do that. No. Plus 17. Is it even worth colonizing? Like, straight up, is it even worth colonizing? We're going to boost the pioneers here. How far does your even work? It means that a portion of your loot that you get, you will not get. It goes to the party. Uh, state, 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 full core, all of it. And if we're going to accept gobos, we're going to accept... Guys, we're dwarves, man. It costs 196 diplo points to accept the gobos. 
196 Diplo points. What in the frickity frack are we gonna? That's such a waste. Uh, I can repair this though within five years. Let's do that first. Like we're dwarves, we have, uh, it's our administration, I'm pretty sure. Uh, promote culture cost plus 100%. That shit's expensive, bro. Why about 100 Diplo? Yeah, that's like two whole development for our hold. I don't know, it seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. I would like a decent ruler, though. Send you repair. Yeah, it's really good. I don't really have an interest in reading these, I'm going to be honest. Uh, yeah, so now to repair holds, it's not a decision. You have to go to the province, and you click dig deeper, and you can repair or dig. It's pretty cool. And look, we're digging. We're, we're doing construction. So it's going to take forever to convert them. Um... Is there any chance this is actually going to... For peace, positive stability, colony. The armor tradition, prestige. That's tied to prestige? Damn. <laughs> More cancel isn't funny. I want to move the cap to the hold first. No, not before repairing it. Uh, before developing it? Yes, sure. But not before repairing it. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I was just afraid of. Okay, let's just keep you all together here. Except for the cannon. Cannon can stay behind. Okay. I didn't steal mass from the command, unfortunate. 51,000. We're going to need to build a fort here. We're going to need to build a fort here, probably, and then a fort here. Yeah, and there's our truce with the commando. I should have built those forts much faster. Because they're going to outnumber us, so we need to be able to pull them back somewhere to farm war score. I don't know if I really want to ungob the provinces. I'm going to be real. Like, I kind of do and I kind of don't. Mushroom. How is the expedition doing? They're looking fine. We've lost some organization from all the stuff, but... First two layers are fine. Okay, but to be fair, like, if you're... If the argument you really want to make is... It costs too much Diplo points. If you want to he who the goblins, then you're just spending an extra hundred admin points. Like that, it's not really a valid argument. Like, oh, it's too expensive. Like, yeah, it's expensive, but it's not really a good reason. Your purge more? That's because it's dumb, and it, you shouldn't even be allowed to do it in the game. To be honest with you. You should not just be able to click one button and and have that happen. That's it's a crazy thing to have in your game. Uh, admin tech or admin idea? Admin tech or admin probably admin idea. Yeah, admin idea. I would love to get this ten percent morale armies, but I would much rather have my mill tech. Education for the poor? Yeah, I'll take that. Is OK going to the area the same culture at least? Yes. They're all undergrowth goblins. So it's the same gobos. Dwarves and goblins aren't friends. I mean, sure, I guess you can. You're just gonna you're just gonna be contrarian no matter what I do. So yeah, sure. 
dwarves and goblins aren't friends. Or maybe they are. It doesn't matter. Uh, depending on how much you invest between 0 to 2,000 ducats, you get a morale loss modifier. At 0, it is 1.2. At 2,000, it is 0.52. At 200 ducats, party share, you get neutral. So I should only be giving 200 ducats a party share? I don't know how much you invest between two thousand ducats. Huh. It depends on the length. I mean, I suppose that makes sense. So it's two hundred ducats for short, and then does it just does it just double it? Oh, it's a hundred per longer. Interesting. Always two K for maximum. True. True, comrades. <laughs> we shall share all the loot. We will not. We will not share all the loot. Too much religious freedom. Uh, I suppose that will help me convert things. There we go. Let's take Miltech now. Uh, yeah, we will praise the cube, though. I, I never have a problem praising the cube. Well, actually, I do. But uh, we will praise the cube. It's fine. Orcs are roaming the depths. Defensive preparations. We got punched. We are running out of troops. The cube did not approve. <sighs> true faith. It's not true culture. It's just Gore Barad had that true culture, or primary culture thing. Like, we gotta kill the hobgoblins. We'll cause more unrest if we have them. It's like plus, plus one, plus two unrest for an integrated culture in your provinces. I mean, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. They just give regiment costs now, though, which is... Useless. I'm being real. I, uh, regiment cost is, is. I don't know if there's ever been a moment when I've been like, ah, yes, I need to build this troop, and I would like it to be point three ducats cheaper. Took a gob. What does it give? Integrated. Uh, I mean, maybe. It gives 20% production efficiency plus one local missionary strength. No, that seems fine. I like production efficiency. Production efficiency is good. Uh, let's go ahead and go enforce religious unity. And we will start to convert. If it was just regiment cost, then it wouldn't be worth it. But 20% production efficiency is nice. Uh, Gobs only give a constructed tower or cost reduction. Yeah. Uh, it's just, I think it's just having to do with the fact that infrastructure's in the game. Honestly, we could have chosen whatever we want, because it's not going to matter. <laughs> Here's the really good uh, infrastructure event. 5% goods produced. It's not going to matter what we choose, because our ass is dead anyways. Mushroom guards. Many, oh, many unusual creatures roam the caves of the serpent spine, and our farmers seem to have encountered some of these. They claim for the last few months while collecting mushrooms, strange sounds could be heard in the distance. And recently we have received reports of glowing eyes and occasional walking mushrooms. These rumors have been discarded until now, as yesterday it was discovered that the freshly grown mushrooms are now protected by a large number of mushroom people. A few unfortunate and bruised farmers have already been beaten up by them. The farms in the area are now paralyzed. Leave them be. We will just farm somewhere else. Learning through observation happens in one to two years. Mushroom. Bungus? No, I don't I don't think this is the Bungus event. Actually, it might lead to Bungus. Oh no, my wife. Oh no, somebody tell my wife. She's gotta look out. The Bungus is on the prowl. Oh no. Well, we don't have a consort, but we know it will still happen. Uh, okay, our two forts are up. We do want to wait for this expedition to be done. Okay. Well, just... 
I need to build up to our force limit here because uh, <laughs> we don't have any troops coming home. Wait, was this long? Oh, they're not coming home at all. Nah, they're fucked. It's so Jover for them. That that party is wiping hard. There we go. The pioneers are in charge now. Uh, I'll grab that movement speed because it also gives me the 10% morale of armies. Five intro captains? Okay. One guy will come back? I don't know. I don't know. They are... There's not a lot of them. I mean, maybe. At least they won't run out of supplies. <laughs> they don't have to share food with as many people. Okay. Ashikuma has turned these guys into a tributary again. Rosh does not have a great conquer at the moment. This colony is going to be for absolutely nothing if we don't get it uh, completed by the time we go to war with the command. He's still tech 5. He's got 58,000 troops. We don't have any generals that are like crazy good. We've restored that hold. Let's build... Actually, let's... Oh, it's not even 14 development. Or 15 development. Okay. Uh, let's build a fort there then. And... I cannot move it because I need admin points. Steel map. Thank you. Steel map. Of the jade mines. There we go. Step one, I suppose. Uh, learning through observation. Since the previous incident with our farms, the mushroom people of Reshada Gate have slowly grown bolder. What used to be a rare sighting is now a frequent occurrence. They constantly scout the common walking routes and sometimes even settlements. And now some of our citizens' possessions have started to disappear, leaving many worried that mushroom people might be getting smarter. The situation is becoming untenable and action is needed. We could simply smoke them out, though they have grown significantly in numbers since we last considered this possibility. Or, as one young diplomat recommended, we could attempt to negotiate with them since they have shown signs of intelligence. Sure, let's negotiate. Let's see what they have to say. Well, we can keep building that for now, I suppose. Going deeper. That's not good, man. <laughs> These last guys, they're holding on, though. Uh, we are also going to run out of economy here relatively soon. We're also going to run out of force limit here relatively soon. I really need this colony to finish. Because then I can declare my war. Above us, good job. Those events where we lose 100 soldiers now are getting kind of bad. Uh, Ashikuma is at war with the Raj. Why? Anti monsters of Thunderfist? Okay. Come on. You know you want to complete. Is there a government form of time that UFO turns advisors into rulers? I don't think so. It's a cool idea though. It's a cool idea. I don't I don't think there is though. Not that I know of. All right, let's get to work. God, that colony was not worth the money, I don't think. Why can't I turn this off? I don't know. Mark up to, uh, we will not need to question mark. I think we're gonna be fine. He says very unconfidently. We'll merc up later. Alright, get back to building this network. Because remember, our... We have so much morale right now. Our, uh... Force is going to drop in 1500. We should actually probably push this a little bit. 
See if we can force something to happen. Can't manually dig non-capital holds. No, no, I'm wondering why the UI is stuck here. Oh, that's a, that's a bug. So I can't close it because I don't have centralized hold operations. I can't dig it. But because I already have the UI open, I can't close the UI. So now the UI is just open. Which means maybe I can dig it, actually. But it's going to be our capital here in a moment, anyways. Uh, in fact, I should have moved it before the war. A fruitful relationship. Some of our senior diplomats have objected to the idea of trying to negotiate with the mushroom people since it is known that they don't have the ability to speak. But in the end, they turned out to be wrong. After some awkward gestures, the mushroom people of Rezhada Gate were able to somewhat understand our intent, and they even gave some of the stolen goods back. After nearly a week of back and forth, the negotiations resulted in a mutually beneficial agreement. Our settlers and the local mushroom people will coexist, and the state will protect them in exchange for a steady supply of food, which would turn out to be mushrooms. Men are now wondering why they would send us the mushrooms they were previously so valiantly defending, and it appears they are not actually as smart as we thought they were. <laughs> they were actually some pretty nice guys. I would say they were fun guys. <laughs> uh, Rosanna Gate gets mushroom people settlement until the end of the game, giving 10% local production efficiency, plus 0.5 local goods produced, and 25% supply limit. I don't think that's Bungus. I think Bungus comes from the miners that don't work. <laughs> Hide your wives! It's Bungus, boys! He's on his way! Drums of the deep. We lost 350 soldiers. It's Jover, boys. Come on. You just gotta hold on for just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer is all that I'm asking for. You win these, boys. You win these. Throw is coming? I mean... Is it a throw? Is it really? They just have to make it a little bit longer. Like, they're so close. They're so unbelievably close. One bad event, though, and we're... It's over. Don't know where the command's troops are. Once he gets to tech six, he'll be much more willing to fight me. No! Are you serious, dude? That's like... The one event I couldn't afford to have. Leave it up. True. Maybe they get home. Maybe they get home in time. We could bird it. Do we want to bird it? That's like literally the one event that just would instantly end the party. This is crazy. Does it even work? Yeah, the events aren't locked in. It's also, it's a percentage-based chance on if it succeeds or not. And it takes into account your discipline. Um, your organization, sorry, your organization and stuff. A cave chicken? Whoa. <laughs> There's a cave chicken in here? I want to see the one guy come home with all the loot. He's a hero. It's a bat, not a bird. True. Oh, it's a bat. Look at that crazy bat. We need those monies in Monarch Points. Yeah, we need this command war to go well. We smickety smack 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 the command. And then... Well, honestly, and then we just need to build up our country because <laughs> uh, we're not going to have the manpower or the force limit to take on Ashjakuma right now. Even though they're losing to the Raj. I mean, oh, but they are losing to the Raj. So maybe I can get over and get a border with the other goblin and Ashjakuma wouldn't defend. That would be pretty good. That would be doable. Um, but I definitely can't fight Ashjakuma. The attrition they have is just way too brutal for us. Way too brutal. So, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Bum, 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 bum,
We are so back. We are so back in the game. Simply so back. HD loading. Nah, dude. It's an SSD. That's the crazy part. It's it's an SSD. I don't know why my EU4 takes so long to load. It might be that I just need to go through and delete some old saves, but uh, yeah, it's not an HDD. It sure is not. And there's enough room on the SDD, SSD as well, so it's not like it's full either. Okay, okay, I don't know. I didn't build the PC. It's a pre-built one. Uh, for you, I think for the 18 months, goblins would have made it home. <laughs> you know what? That's true. They would have simply stepped out of the way of the boulders. Uh, short rundown. Who are the super dwarf tags? Uh, they're they're interesting. They're m magic dwarves, kind of. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe them because I don't. It, there's no way for me to say without spoiling like a lot of Ambinar like weird lore. Shimmermere. That is a much better event. Thank you. Um, yeah, they're the rejects of dwarf society. They're not like regular dwarves. They're they're outcasts. They're they're weird guys. Um, did I not start converting? That? Really not. There you go. Start converting. Uh, nightmares are also dreams. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I don't know. It's, it's a weird tag. They do weird things. They're weird occult dudes. Rainbow Wrath. Less organization, but more supplies and more morale. All right, they might make it back this time. I really hope I didn't just jinx them. Though. So I very well might have. Right, still no sign of command troops. Let's not waste a bunch of troops to attrition here if we can help it. Or the weird guys all the interns. Or the weird guys all the hogs. Or the weird guys that make friend with the elves. My rule is challenge. I have found the command. It'd be nice if this was actually still a fort, because then we would have really expanded our front line for the war here. But alas, that is not the case. He's just gonna run. Um, you know what could be the case? It could be that all of his troops are trapped down here. Veled Klufar Edin our mines. Any mine will fail without the right infrastructure. As for Rizhada Gate, our miners have complained about increasing workplace accidents. After thorough investigations, we have discovered a large infestation of Veled Klufar, large insectoids sporting scissor like jaws that slice through rock and stone, swarms of which tore supports, railing, and minecarts to ribbons. To make things worse, they possess iridescent scales that camouflage them in the dim environment of the mines, allowing them to evade retaliation from our miners. We will need to send help to deal with this infestation or risk losing productivity in not just our mines, but our stone carved towns too. This is literally the same province with the fungus. This 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 cave is just popping. Uh, because we have 30 inno, bring some additional serpent bloom rations. We can tame them to dig with, not against us. Lose 50 album points, gain 10 devastation. Till the end of the game, it gets less tax and less manpower, but 15% local goods produced. On top of the Mushroom People Settlement, which gives 0.5 local goods produced and 10% local production efficiency. This is going to be the most profitable fungi cave that's ever existed. Okay, there's their troops. Okay, we can fight these 12,000 troops. Probably get away with a wipe here. I mean, it is a hold, to be fair. Doesn't matter. There's seven war score. If they hold on this fort, they're dead. And the expedition returns. 515 guys. <laughs> the true event. The true Canada. They can rest. Uh, it is 1,070 ducats and 356 of each monarch point. Which is pretty sweet. 
Uh, we can finish defensive ideas. We can... I want that construction time. State's governing cost as well. Yeah, I really want that construction time for when we dig this, when we make it our capital. Let's get a repair tick here. How much are they taking from attrition? 900. I mean, it's not like crazy. It's 300 a month. It's the command, though, so. It means literally nothing. Uh, I do want to sally out because we don't actually have full combat with here. Or one short on the combat with. They do have 110 discipline, but we have 5.7 morale on them. We did just take double the damage, though. Feel like we should get a discipline advisor, not a morale advisor. That 50% infantry combat ability is coming to hurt. thousand there okay let's take a look at what the piece I want I want to cut anyone off from getting in here I mean if I declared on these guys right now sure as Jakuma wouldn't join but by the time we get over there as Jakuma will not be sieged down I mean, maybe they go bankrupt if they go bankrupt we can pull it off I mean that is a fantastic peace deal for us we cut off anybody from eating the stuff in the command inside we get a border with these gobos. Uh, that, that's great. Is that going to happen, though? Well. Oh, he's tech six. That's why he did so much damage to us. We lost our tech advantage. And we're allowed to lose our morale of army. I think this is going to go very poorly. I think we can go take his capital. We definitely don't want to fight him though <sighs> here's my hot take I think he has troops trapped down here am I willing to risk a lot though to make to see if that's true or not Like, we need to make something happen very quickly. Otherwise, we're gonna, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Now, the problem with going in carpet sieging like this is that the command could just turn around with those 20,000 troops and attack us, and they probably will. But, like, our territory is safe right now. So, okay. I mean, they do have some troops up here. Go ahead and reinforce. Reinforce. I mean, they're doing the command thing. They're just rebuilding their troops. The command thing, where they just have, you know, manpower forever. Okay. Yeah, see, here come the 22,000 troops now. They're going to instantly come up for these guys, so run away. It's not even worth playing around. We know what they're going to do. <sighs> this is bad. This is very bad. It sucks because we should have an additional 10 years of our bonuses, but we don't. We should, but we don't. So we're gonna hire a Merc stack. Army has seen better days, thank you. Th thank you, game, thank you. help that we have shitty generals <sighs> really three three um i want to hire a general who wants to be a leader <clears throat> advisor yeah we haven't gotten a discipline advisor yet i need some generals i need a 
Like six shock general. Gots to happen. Well, that's a four shock general. It's not bad. Like we have 70 some army tradition, so I would assume that we do okay. Well, that's a six, but in the wrong spot. But that's encouraging that it can happen. It does have three siege though. PLP, that's six, but in the wrong spot. Uh, Edelbeck, this is it. The six in the correct spot. That's a five with four siege. And, uh, Petrix, I'll get you, uh, General, when we have a little bit more points. Okay, so... You are fired. 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 We have 54 war score. We have 28 war score from battles. I could take this fight here. Don't really see a reason to. Yeah, because these guys are going to reinforce. No way. Okay, I was like, there's no way they're that crazy. Okay, we've scorched this, so maybe we can bait them into moving up there. Not sure exactly what he's doing. Oh, we're just too slow to get there. Let's convert our future capital before we develop it a whole bunch. Oh, I wonder if I'm fast enough to get there. They get to Grunstadt on the 1st. I get there on the 21st. So the answer is yes. I am fast enough, but they actually just stop moving, so it doesn't matter. You get there on the 16th. I would arrive on 22nd. On the 31st. On the 7th. And he's locked in. So that's a wipe. That'll be another 4 war score. 7.76 war score, actually. Okay. We have a few months here before things are bad. So we need to rush into this fight immediately. Just throw ourselves in there, do what we can. I never got that discipline advisor, did I? Crazy. Uh, Alright, well we rolled an 8 in the fire phase. Oh, he walked away so I can't sally out. Well, we roll in the shock phase though. We roll a 0 to a 6. Cool. And they rolled 9 in the shock phase. They rolled 9 in that shock phase at least. They rolled an 8. Uh, so, our force limit is about to tank. We're about to lose 30% morale of armies. This is what we in the business consider not good. Can you just, like, walk in the way I want you to one time, please? Okay, it's another four war score. That's max war score from battles. So now it's just battles and ticking. Also, as Shikuma is going to defend again. So I don't need to rush over to Black Step. I kind of want these caves. This is the thing. We could do something like this. Would not be a bad idea. Damn, bro. Come on. Give me a display advisor. We're about to go down to f 11 force limit. Uh, 11 force limit, bro. Uh, okay. I'm about to look not gain as much manpower either hold behind the hold though i don't want to repair it to be honest like i suppose i could but 
I'd have to give up some stuff over here, and I'd rather cut people off here. Like, he can't defend that hold. I want this Mithril province. Like, I guess we could do that. But then the command will probably just be able to walk through here. I suppose I can leave this out and take this instead, and that would probably solve the problem. I don't know. We have to live, though, to, to do that. All right, we're going to this capital. Also, I do think he has troops down here, because we have not seen all of his army at one spot. All right, and we're about to start losing a lot of money, folks. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. All right, making 5.97 ducks a month. Oh, wait, no, it's the sixth month, right? It's June 6th. Yep. June 6th. So if we can take this in time, then we might be fine. Three months. Two months. We just got to get lucky. One month. 28%. 28%. Twenty eight percent? Oh. Zero months. And drrr, and down goes the income. Six seconds a month to minus eleven point five nine. Yeah, 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 we gotta get out of this real quick now. We gotta get out of this war real fast. Real fast. I'm never going to get this one advisor. Okay, we've taken their capital. We're still going to win this fight. And we should be able to wipe him. Okay, you cheating bastards. I need him to flip to low. Let's get all this occupied real quick. Right, it's 91% war score, 94% war score. There he is, 94 and low. Whoo! One of the files. Duration for claim for X below is 9125 with 25 years. It was 40, right? Yes, it was 40 years. Okay, so how do we want to do this? This is the safer, smarter option. If they weren't a tributary of Ashikuma, I would go after them. But I can't beat Ashikuma right now. Uh, I don't even want to risk fighting them. So I think we do this. It's the safer option. It's the better option. Uh, we don't even want to be Virgil Dromac yet. We'll just die. If I'm in 12 for half course, that's the way it is. Golden War, grab that inflation reduction. And let's core all. We can delete the mercs. We have a lot of troops that we also need to delete here. Let's send them back. Okay, so... Do I want to delete this cannon? I think the answer is yes. I do, actually. Um. Oh, the pioneers were in charge. Which means we could have taken more land. I might save scum for that one too. Yeah, I'm gonna bird that. That's uh that's a pretty big oversight on my part. We also could have had that morale of armies while fighting the command too. That's a pretty big oversight. I shouldn't have let the pioneer stay in charge. We we were barely even colonized it anyways. I think I have plus fifteen a month. Well the pioneers aren't gonna help that much. 
the war's fine enough. No, the war's fine enough. Yeah, like, we'll still win it. We'll just be running out to the command's capital now. We'll put us back to the year tech. Let's put troops into expeditions. True. True, we don't have to delete them. We can just throw them into an expedition. And then we don't have to pay for them. We can start the expedition. Well, I don't know what start. Because we'll need Avon points to start. But that's what we can do with our troops that are over the force limit. Are you sorry? No, that's not a restart. It's just a safe scum. Burb counter as well? No. No burb counters allowed. Me, I never burb. Game crash. Obviously. I, I would never. I would never crash a game on purpose. No, 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 no. That, that's what uh, cheaters do. And I, I would never cheat. No. <laughs> Illegal. Plus, there'd be a lot of counting for burb counter. Meh, you know, just get in the way. Too much, too much. I, I think playing it safer and going a little bit slower to form Virgo Dromac is the correct play, though. Because, again, like, the first Virgo Dromac mission is that you need to have three holds that are dig level three, which is... We're not going to have that if we just rush over and try and grab the hold and form it. Uh, I love watching Poe. I get that classic Ambonar gameplay along with bird watching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hope you enjoy watching the birds. <laughs> okay, we're on his capital right now, so it's not like we missed anything. But hey, we can keep cycling for a discipline guy. Huge. Hey, that's not this one. That's not this one. That's also not. You will fire the level two guy too. Why not? Well, don't this one. I, I hate, I hate advisors so much. I hate, I hate how advisors work so much with a fiery passion. Ugh, yeah, I should have boosted them faster, but I did not. Being at war should boost them. Yeah, they'll get there. They'll take a couple of months. So the war will go on a little bit longer, but it's not a huge deal. As long as they don't unseage Gronstanad like they're doing, we'll be fine. That's a decent chunk of war score that they'll get. Yeah, and keep converting, for sure. You can get converted. Why is he not colonizing? Bro. You cannot colonize in the surface mine unless you have an army there to sit on the province, okay? And we're fighting the command. And fun fact, the command has a lot of troops, and you need your army to fight wars. You can't colonize and do the wars at the same time. That's not how it works. You gotta pick one, okay? And I pick living and expanding instead of colonizing with like plus 15 settlers, okay? It's that easy. It's simple math. I'm not good at math, but it's simple math. <laughs> not with that attitude. Well, you know what? That's true. I could just have increased force limit, but, uh, well, we got 13. Uh, I got a a coward. Yes, <laughs> that is the lesson to take away. Uh, I'm simply a coward. Uh, skill issue, bad. El bozo. Um, learn to play better. Uh, simply have the force limit. <laughs> it allows me to take like one more province, but we'll take it. We'll also make it a lot cheaper to core. There we go. Core it all up. Get that inflation reduction. Here we go. Fire you two. Fire you. Split you in half. Uh, send 10,000 onto the siege. Are you a vassal? No, you're a tributary. You're allied to the Raj. Okay. That's actually good for us. In some, some ways. Uh, you... 
Dorvrod 70. Organize the expedition. Send 10,000 troops. Let's go ahead and prepare some supplies. You're saying that the minimum I need to do is 200 party share? Just send them. Now our force limit is 14, so let's build 4,000 troops. We're out of manpower. But we do not have negative stab. The command is no longer about rival. And I still do not have a discipline advisor. And we're making 2.51 duckies a month. Boys, we're rich. There's no one else I can declare war on us right now. We are doing fine. We will start to colonize again. Okay, chill. I know. I know. We're not at war now, so now we can do it. Uh, but we're going to wait for some manpower. Uh, drunkards in the expedition. Because we're amethyst dwarves, we get 0.75 morale. And we gain five organization. Huge. You need to drill. We did lose all of our professionalism. Not all, but 5% of it. Uh, the only way to avoid the asbestos is to have the mages. And I will now save up my admin points, move my capital, and we will start to... Well, diggy diggy hole. Uh, that is three development in Dwarvrod 66. Uh, yes, we can do that. And... I can move my capital here. Because I can finally do this. Which means we can start going down our mission tree for adventurers. Thank God. Okay. Uh, hold reclaimed. We have discovered one of our holds of our ancestors. While it may not be the greatest condition, we must secure it so we can begin the process of forging it into a new home. 83 ducats, 10 prestige. Uh, I need 15,000 troops. It's embarrassing that we don't have that. Hold on. Build up to 15, just so we can complete it. A hold repaired. With a few repairs here and there, we can make this ruined shelter look like a true dwarven settlement. One stab, ten prestige. Now, obviously, we're going to want to complete infrastructure ideas before we start developing here. Works roaming the depths. Maybe we should, maybe we should just attack the orcs, because that's now twice that we've gotten obliterated by orcs. Never again, 10% defensiveness for 50 years on our capital. Uh, this costs Diplo power for global settler increase. And we don't really have the manpower to deal with that. Um, yeah. Age ability, let's go for that. Okay. We are technically building prosperity here. No edicts. Uh, encourage religious unity. Now, there are a couple things we need to do. Number one, we need to get rid of hobgoblins. Number two, we need to take the next two admin ideas. Both of those things will cost me admin points. Adventurers find treasure. I will take just money. Thank you. While we're not doing this, let's go ahead and build this. I would build a mage tower, but I do know we would have to delete it at some point, so I'm not too concerned by it. Uh, we're going to have 14,000 hobgoblin separatists rise up in Grozomdir, most likely. Get you there, get our good general in charge. Thank you very much. Okay, then chain grasp for separatists, which could rise up anywhere in here. Four development, three development, three development, three, three, five, three. Okay, we're going to hope that they rise us up here. We're going to hope they rise up here. Our trader's dead. Guess we can improve relations, guy. Uh, if we're going to get rid of hobgoblins, we should probably just start now. So let's get rid of them. Sorry, hobgoblins. No hobgoblin holds allowed. Can't dig those. Not worth. Yeah, we have to get rid of them because... I mean, we don't have to, I suppose. I could convert this manually, but you can't have hobgoblin holds. Can't dig them. It's not worth it. You are at war with the Raj now. 
Okay. Well, the good news is they can't take anything up here. Yeah, my 75% culture conversion thing. Yeah, but it still takes time. It's culture conversion cost, as far as I'm aware. And cost does not matter to me as much as time. Because if it takes me years to culture convert this, well, I'm kind of wasting my time. I'd rather just spend the admin points. Conversion time is a rare modifier to find. A very good modifier to find, but a very rare modifier to find. Does it cost influence time to some event? It's two different modifiers. Uh, colonialism has spawned, which is good. Well, it's good for us because we get to develop. Yeah. Maybe not great for the people that are going to get colonized, but uh, hey. We're just dwarves. We're chilling, okay? Not my issue. Not my problem. There's all of that. All half stated, of course. Uh, and the dwarves will be spreading. Okay. And separatist means even more waiting. True. Not your goblin. Not your circus. That's right. That's right. Not my goblin, not my circus. Uh, let's do some development. Okay, well, here's the downside of doing development. We'll fall behind on Miltech. Upside is, though, we only border the command. Start improving with these guys. I think we're gonna... I think we're in a, safest, a safe spot to risk it. We could wait to try and finish infrastructure ideas, but that's gonna be... Another 800 admin points. We make nine a month. I suppose we could wait. Will it auto turn off? No, it will not. So it'll be saved for whenever we walk over here and there's more hobgoblins. Can I upgrade your admin advisor? True, we could do that. But like... We can get this up and running. It's going to make us a hell of a lot of money. Yeah, true. We could upgrade the trade center to uh, to three when we get it developed a little bit. How far away is the cheaper adv admin advisor for missions? Uh, where is that guy? It's right here. I have to dig the hold. Which means this has to be development of 40. Uh, hey, Ellie. Do we need to expand infrastructure as well? Yeah. We have the admin to expand the infrastructure. But do I wait? Do I wait to finish infrastructure idea before diggy diggy hole? I think I, I, think I do, but I am going to expand the infrastructure here right now. We're going to keep converting. What did I just say? 21s. Build a mage tower? I'm just going to have to delete it. I'm literally just going to have to delete it. Delete your northern fort? Yeah, we can delete this one and build one here. Uh, so yeah, we can get rid of that now. <clears throat> build one here, and I should also build one here. And then one back here, probably, but we don't need it right now. Uh, what happened to seven restarts? Oh, was six and seven? Uh, six was... We just went back from yesterday. We just restarted where we left off as the dwarves. Like, where we... What the... That's a weird-looking Abdel Kanzad right there. Uh... <clears throat> We restarted as dwarves, and then like three months in, I got an inventory party wipes and lost ten unity and one stability, and so I just restarted again because I didn't want to deal with that. It's for the mission tree, yeah. Um, it's two hundred eighty-two ducats. It is. It is two hundred and eighty-two ducats to build. I 
want to build these buildings, but they're not worth it. You are worth it, though. Oh, you're only half stated. It's fine. I don't care about the third hold right now. It's not going to do anything for me. Are you serious? Damn it, dude. <sighs> That's annoying. Bird? No, it's too late for birding. It's too late now. We would have to go back a ways to bird that. It's fine. Just kind of annoying. We didn't spend that much on it, so... And we had to get rid of the troops anyways. It was just kind of a throwing it out there type of thing. We could have spent more points on it. I guess I should have. Loses one Diplo point. Choose another blessing of our faith. Uh, yeah, get that dev cost. There we go. See, we're fine. We're just we're just stacking modifiers, guys. It's fine. Command war lost. No cave taken. Yep. Well, the Raj can't get up here. I suppose Katask could have taken it. They still own Solo Vaughn. I'm not losing this ability. You can't take it. You can take my stability from my cold, dead hands. I want it. I want my stability. Thank you very much. Also, goblins are integrated now, so we're good there. I'm looking forward to when you have to do this all over again when the Jade Dwarf's constant mission tree is done. <sighs> It'll be fine. Having to go all the way over here is a lot of work. Maybe I shouldn't have broken these guys away from the command. Maybe I should have let them stay as a vassal. I think breaking this guy away is the correct move, but I don't know about this guy. Uh, da, 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 my my thing isn't ready yet. Do I really want to pay ten percent more, fifteen percent more for colonialism? Yeah. 580 compared to 724. Guess that's what an idea group does for you. I don't know, man. I'm about to max out on the points anyways. I could do, like, some development. Oh, right. We have free dev. We have free development. Like, I just started building this mage tower, so I don't want to develop it Ah, frick it. Cancel the mage tower. Give me back my money. Give me back my money. Thank you very much. Not 30 more? Yeah, command's fine now. They will never catch up to me on tech. Uh, I can embrace colonialism for 264 ducats. Sounds good. I can then immediately take diplo tech. Sounds good. And I can almost take Miltech, so it really didn't slow us down at all. Do you have a return of trade? It's fine. Uh, we can turn the Edict off. We can... Start to build a marketplace here. We can... Probably... Nine years? Yeah, go ahead and just build the marketplace. I think it will be faster to wait for this construction time reduction. Mission. Clear the way. Not my problem. Like, we should begin colonizing, though, again. Even though it's expensive and kind of bad for us. But, hey... It'll work. All right. Go ahead and send. We have 6,000 manpower, so we have the manpower to play around with. Kind of. Uh, and let's complete clear the way. 
Some of the Dwarvar's difficult and often thankless work. With a little bit of effort, we can clear some way some of the obstacles that stand in our settler's path. Plus 20 global settler increase. Uh, controlled expansion costs admin points. Gives us a colonist. We can't even use it yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. And extend the borders. Have 12 cities. It is difficult to believe a band of adventurers whose only wealth was virtue could build a dominion so extensive as the one we now command. It is time to begin to exploit this dominion more effectively. For 25 years, 20% production efficiency. There we go. Worth it down for the hold. I can't... I can't send a colonist past the other colonist. That's not how it works. Not how it works, unfortunately, for us. The only colonize that's on our border right now. And this is the only product we can colonize, so... That's what we'll colonize. Yo, minus 25% fort maintenance from infrastructure. Minus 10%. That's minus 35% fort maintenance at the moment. Do we have that from... It's fort maintenance on border with rival, specifically. Okay. Uh, mushroom settlement grows. So our really, 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 really good mushroom cave... Uh, gets more development. This cave is probably single-handedly feeding our nation. There's Miltech. And I'm going to back up here for a second and upgrade my troops to Pepper and Tortoise. There we go. Get the manpower and the morale recovery speed done. Hobgoblins are out of here. Very nice. They're not out of Grosnad yet. What the frickity frack? Okay, that's cool. New interaction. I didn't realize it gave you a pop-up. Uh, let's just get all of our buildings built first. Objection of kind? I'm not getting a small tolerance decrease of goblins. We're accepting the goblins. Get over it. We're on 64 under attack. Okay, we only lost 84 that time. So That tech 9 gave us a really good increase. Uh, do I want to invest into ramparts? The answer is yes, I do. I guess the, the actual question is, do I want to invest into ramparts right now? I mean, I'm not spending the money on anything else. Leave the unneeded fort on the road. Is it unneeded? Disagree that it's unneeded. That's only because I know how the rebels work in our disaster. Um, yeah, I can destroy that and build it up here. This is only a half hold, guys. It's not a real hold. It's, it's fake hold. Bad hold. Fake bad hold. There's no such thing as an unneeded fort. Fort every province. Let them not walk a single step without losing men to attrition. We will simply just Make them bleed out. If you know, you could do that before. <clears throat> Fight them. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You want me to play tall? Fine. Everyone gets a fort. Everyone gets a fort because if you're gonna enter your game by telling me to play tall, well, then damn it, I'm at least gonna make people suffer for it. Uh, worked very hard on the whole digging UI. I'm glad it's up to snuff. It's very good. I like it a lot. Just a heads up though. If you have a hold and you click on the dig deeper icon and it, it pops up like this and then you core it, you're not supposed to be able to click this, right? Because it's not a capital hold. If it wasn't a capital, this stays up and you can't put it back down. So you can't like get back to just seeing the terrain. This will just stay stuck there if it's not the capital. Just to give you a heads up. That is the, that's the only thing that we found today, though. <laughs> uh, the only bug. That's the only one. All right, go ahead and enforce unity. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Otherwise, uh, I really enjoy it. And I'm glad that it gives me a pop-up, too, because I would 100 million percent forget about them. <laughs> 100 million percent forget about repairing it. Choose a blessing for my faith. Let's go with the global settlers. Now, the downside of not rushing to form Vocal Dromac is that we don't get estates as early, which kind of sucks. 
but I do think that it's it's the smarter plan. Choose to the command stuff in eight years. Uh, expand infrastructure here. And then I think we just wait. Yeah, we just wait to take this. I really want this heir to die. I don't want them to take over. Mostly because I already turned them into a general and they're a powerful mage. But I've been trying to get them dead for a while now. Okay. Okay, we've got some force limit again. We're, we're becoming a real country again. You got a state singular. I don't have any state. Also, I do think I want the pioneers back in charge now. I absolutely want the pioneers back in charge now. Uh, what are states really giving you that's super critical? All power cost, manpower recovery speed, land maintenance modifier reductions, trade efficiency, um, missionary strength, monarch points. Uh, yeah. Other things. <laughs> Stab cost reductions. Also, all of this can be turned into governing capacity. Uh, you know what I should do? I should just try and get these other expeditions done. I really want to spend the admin. But before I do the expeditions, I do want to complete infrastructure ideas. Uh, I did this because I want to drill my air. You can be down here. The colonizing privileges, yep. Global settlers. All things that I do genuinely want. Force religious unity on you. It's fine. But yeah, I really do want this heir to die. Then we can choose a new one. And, I mean, preferably a powerful mage that ends up having good military skills. We'll see. Yeah, I've got one. Okay. Da, da, da. Do you seem to be in a better spot now than last time? Yes, we do not have the peasants we're taking. Uh, we're not about to have internal conflicts. And we actually have a, like, a fort line. And force limit. And, and manpower. Uh, level 2 advisor, too. Cheaper. We're running advisors. We have... The ability to do stuff and things. And I did not waste a bunch of manpower trying to fight a war against Ajakuma. That was not worth it. Uh, and I won't immediately have to go into the next disaster, which is rough because those rebels take away monarch points. Uh, and I'm also not four Diplotechs behind, three Admin Techs behind. I say I might be three Admin Techs behind. No, I'm only two. Uh, is it a balance reason why the Marchers Pioneer Center are not just the adventure estates? Like for everybody? I don't know. They're just dwarf things. Well, adventure things, but dwarf things. Uh, adventurers find treasure, though. I mean, I could try to keep my adventuring unity up. It is nice for the manpower recovery speed, for sure. But I'd rather have the money. These guys, it's going to take a while for these guys to still get in charge. I think I'm just going to take the idea. Minus 25% construction time. Minus 100% expand administration cost. Minus 10% dev cost. On top of that, I get plus one attrition for enemies and 25% garrison size. Okay, so. Now I want to diggy diggy hole. It will take nine years. It will not. It'll take 6.5 years. It's a little bit more reasonable. Now, to repair this, I do need 50 admin points. So, that'll be fine. My heir has gained some skill as a leader. Uh, that's not what I want. That, that's not what I want. I want him to die. Can I pull trade in from anywhere else? Oh, yes, I can. 
I forgot. I can pull trade from the Tree of Stone now into the Jade Mines. I can make even more money. And there we go. We can repair you, and I suppose we can also repair you. Oh, you're still Hobgoblin. There's the Pioneer. Maybe I should have waited for the ideas. Whatever. Uh, what's my force limit currently? 18. Alright, let's build three troops. Let's do another expedition. Okay. Expedition time in Dwarvrod 68. Silver medium. It shouldn't be too difficult. Some 10,000 men. Let's raise morale. 600 estimated loot. Supplies. Let's just use all military. They don't need to eat. They seem to like kill things. Organize once. Set party share to 200. Now I'm worried about my morale. No, it's fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Surely they won't die twice. Uh, Token Bank, thank you for the 13 months. Appreciate it. Very kind of you. <laughs> and there goes another Hobgoblin majority. Okay. Don't know if I necessarily want to upgrade those to level 3. It won't make the money back. It would be nice for the manpower, though, I suppose. But in that case, I'd rather have Gronstadt upgraded to level 3. An apparition appears. We're dwarves. Uh, creaky rambling voice echoes through the cave as ghastly spirits appear in front of the expedition. Restless dwarven spirits damned to spend their existence and on life. The question remains, what do we do? Uh, where's the loot, brothers? Learnings of an elder? Give me another admin point. Thank you. As we are far behind on admin, what's new? Uh, we need to take this. We need to core things up. I get more fort defense till 1422. Sure. It'll cost a little bit more, but our forts are super cheap. So much to worry about it. Uh, these guys are tech 7, which is unfortunate. That does mean that they will have cannons for our next war, which is here soon, like three years, right? Uh huh. Mans of labor? Yeah, do it. Even though it costs half points. Do I have any other rivals? Yeah, it's Shakuma. Go and scornfully insult you. And I will also throw down a embargo on you. Just to make sure that I'm still making some Some extra monarch points with our power projection. As Jakumor. Yeah, I mean, that is unfortunate. Because eventually they wouldn't defend these guys, but, I mean, I don't regret the peace deal I made. We're in such a better position. We're so stable. We're making money. I, I can increase my force limit here if I just spend a little bit of cash. Like, these caves that have... Fungus and stuff. And cows. I should just be building land force limit buildings on. Really all the serpent bloom and stuff. Should get land force limit and manpower buildings. Because they're not going to make us any money. So, having more force limit is good. Makes us scarier to enemies and allows me to actually fight enemies. I'm surprised these two haven't killed each other yet. Promising general. General Fitchy Tradition. Okay. Is he any good? No. Uh, antique Machine. Money or Inno? 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 Probably the Inno. No? Mm. Yeah, mm, mm, mm. yeah, I'm gonna take the Inno. 
I'll take the you know, it's fine. More hobgoblins leave. They're not all gone yet. Still some holdouts back here. Goblin ambush in our capital. Well, that's not good. Ancient treasure. Prestige and money. Give me the money. And let's build one, two, three more troops, please. Uh, hope the money is worth it. What do you mean by that? What do you What do you mean by that? The money is worth it. I like money. Is there a better option? Ready weapons. Take care of those guys. Okay, so now we could consider grabbing a second colonist. You allied Rajnahaga? Are you serious, Rajnahaga? You allied them, but not me. I guess you are in the same religious group. I'll give you that. Gold Rush. Seems good to me. I'm only seeing positives. Not that there's a better option. It's that the greed is the nature of man and dwarf equally. But greed is good. Cave slime ambushes. It's fine. Adventurers find treasure. What, you want me to spend money here too? No, we'll benefit the company as a whole. 577 ducats. Greed is good. <clears throat> Do we want to get the mission that gives me an extra colonist? I don't really have the troops to deal with that right now. Never mind. I have 27 force limit? How? Actually, how? I just had 18. How do I have 27? That's how I'm dropping. That much? I don't know about that much. This stuff's all half stated. I mean, the only thing I stated was this. But 27? Oh, the force of buildings. <laughs> You're so right. I'm so smart. I know exactly what I'm doing. I, I, I'm just so, it's so well planned, you know? Like, all part of a plan. Where do they want to go? Ale mine? Okay, that's the one spot I didn't want you to go to, to be honest with you. Just go there. I don't really want to click this. I'm going to be real with you. I'd rather click that. I really think that it's not only going to give me more force limit, but it's also going to allow me to do my favorite button click of all time, which is lowering autonomy. All I have to do is not think about the consequences of my actions and how this will cause lots of rebels, but it will make me more money and more force limit. And I'm stronger and cooler and better. We are lacking on the whole manpower department, though. I cannot deny that. Manpower is our problem at the moment. So it may not give us much manpower, but these provinces are made for manpower buildings. We're about to have a bunch of peasants rise up. Woohoo! I love peasants. Why are these rebels rising up? What, what are they thinking? What have I done to cause these rebels to rise up? I can't think of a single thing. Truly, they're just being so needy and greedy. Uh, Grossenad has been repaired. Switch to goblin military. <laughs> funny. Funny, funny, funny. I mean, I suppose that is an option. We could do it right here, right now. But I don't really feel like that's a good idea, necessarily. Because then I have goblin military. <laughs> Why would I want goblin military right now? It's bad. Oh, Ellie, by the way, you know how you said that the odds of getting someone who is legendary in necromancy from a random roll was like 0.2% or whatever? Yeah, we got that yesterday. Yep. We did. 
Which is why it was very sad that we lost. We got Legendary Necromancy, and then they were talented in Divination, Abjuration, Transmutation, and something else. We could have had Eternal Sleep. Uh-huh. He was ready. It, was he a decent mill, too? Not that I turned him into a general. I think he was like four or five a mill or something. St. RNG. Well, it's okay, because we died. Well, I, we were going to die. <laughs> it, was, it was very Jover. I'm going to hire a level two advisor here. It, it was very Jover for that run. But uh, it was pretty good. Uh, I got Legendary Necros and Vincos. Nice, nice. Finally, the, the city shall rise. I don't care if they don't like me. They can get over it. Also, apparently, Hinfat is around. I uh, don't need to take the mill tech. We are about to max out on mill points. Uh, I still owe someone a general, though, if I do recall. I do, Petrius. I did not get you your general when I said I would. I apologize. You will get your general right now. Three siege. I mean, I'm not going to complain about three siege. There go the peasants. Uh, is your ruler race icon bugged? Mine? Or like just in general? In general, I, I thought it looked fine. Yeah. Looks fine. Tiltagar Taramari. It's human. Diplomacy screen of your tag. No. It looks fine. Maybe I missed something, but it doesn't look broken. Let's go. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be bugged. Uh, not a lich. Fun fact. Not a lich right now. So, that'd be a solid... No, we are an amethyst dwarf. That's just what amethyst dwarfs look like, okay? Sorry for being racist to the amethyst dwarfs. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to max out soon-ish, but not too soon. Go ahead and core all that up. Make sure everything is ready to go. They're going to rise up over here. We already know where they're going to rise up. So The button predicts the future. True. Ooh, Pioneer Spirit. Thank you. Uh, if these guys weren't allied to Raja Haga, I would very easily go and kill them. Uh, in fact, I should make a claim on them before they kill Dak. Okay, we're making 10 a month, which means we're going to max out. I mean, I can always throw down some development, right? Oh no, I have to do some development in my country. Oh no. Oh no, my country has to get stronger and better. We also do need to fight the command here soon, so. Should be a little careful about uh, spending my manpower here. I was about to build more troops, but. Uh, beautiful hold, always. Always beautiful hold. I could also just take the Miltech and get some inno for it. Cross that, it's super cheap. True. I going to say I want to dig my capital, though. And I don't want to use the extra hold development points. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take that. I want the inno. Uh, I do need to build a cannon back, though. Orcish supplies. We need 75 loot. We'll take it. How's that expedition doing? Uh, they're almost ready to come home. Which is good. It's time for them to come home. Okay, we have to... We, oh my god. I can either dig faster, or I can get a cheaper advisor and 30 prestige. I don't need to dig faster. So give me that advisor. We're going to make him level four. <sighs> What's new? Poem you behind on admin points. I know. I know. Start boosting the marchers. 
Hopefully we don't have them in charge when, by the time we finish this command war. That would be the dream. Might be a bit of a pipe dream, but that's okay. Expeditionaries. Uh, we have... Yeah, we can send them back out. 397 crowns, 132 of each monarch point. Not bad. Uh, we need to move you guys down here. Please and thank you. And we take the Diplotech, which does give us some settler growth. Which is nice. And we have dug our hold to level 2. Which gives us a cheaper treasurer. Which I don't need yet, so I'm not going to click that button. Uh, to dig, I need development of 50 here. And guess who just spent all of his Diplo points? This guy. That's unfortunate. Rough that colony. Yeah. True, it would help with the factions too. This guy's gonna be too large for us to annex in one war pretty soon. Like, I'm not afraid about being the command. I think we thrashed them at this point. Just through tech alone. But uh We'll see how it goes. Our truce with them is up already, so we could at any point go for it. But I need to deal with you. Thank you. We're not going to have a lot of manpower for this war, though. It's the only thing. But I don't know how many troops he actually has up here. Like, he still has enclaves all over the place. We know they're not right there. Declare an anti monstrous We can make our claim. I have to use, do it through the diplomacy screen, though. Yep. <clears throat> Raj want that tiger land? Since same culture group. There is a way to fix that. I'm just saying. There is a way to fix that problem. yesterday's run uh it was not playable we would have died we had too many disasters that were spawning up we could not defend our land we had no manpower we were behind on techs it was just really scuffed uh but we're in a much better spot now uh yeet the haramari yes oh, shit i mean tiltigar's not an elephant rider but uh Wait. How are they allowed to declare that war? Interesting. Declare war. I didn't know they could declare war outside the Raj. I thought they were just always allowed to declare war inside. Interesting. Well, I hope that this war gets declared. You see Rise Cohesion? I don't think so. I'm not too concerned about this, actually. It'll suck if they take out the tigers, but... Can I warn them? <laughs> you're not allowed to declare war. Sure, you're stronger than me, but I don't care. anti monstrous please. I want to see... Where the command's troops are, is the thing. Okay, so he has 12,000 of them out here. His capital's over here in Maruvad. No edicts. Let's go ahead and get this stuff converted. Let's start with that mithril. That's where I'll be throwing my extra diplo points if I'm not developing a hold. He could be running around to attack these 1k guys. I know that there's 12,000 guys in here. We just need to go find them.
That might be the 12,000 guys. Yeah, that is. Don't do the dumb thing, okay? You walk outside first, okay? It'll scare off the 12,000 guys. And then you walk in and you wipe them on the cavern. Yes? Good plan. Good plan, Pathing. Yes! Yeah, well, we're not going to wipe them, but... Command moment. That's okay. We know that their 12,000 troops went over here. Uh, you need to retreat, actually, because they're just going to walk up and attack you. Prejudices of Ruler. I'm not reading all that. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm reading all that. Alright, and let's leave. You guys behind it. It's a four siege general, so it shouldn't be too bad. Should go pretty fast. I did not mean to do that. Buvari is coming with a steel chair, which is great for us, because Buvari really isn't a threat to us. As long as he's not allied to someone who wants to actively kill me. Yeah, the factions is boosted, but I don't think they're gonna have enough influence to make a difference, unfortunately. I think we're out of luck on that one. So, preferable peace deal. I would like a border with the goblins now and cut anybody off from the outside. It will leave them with two provinces inside the Serpent Spine, which is kind of unfortunate. But is what it is. I don't even think if the Pioneers were no longer in charge, it would matter. If we stop Hehu and Hobgoblins, maybe that would be enough in combination, but... Oh, I so badly want to be on the border with the Goblins right now. It's free. It's free. It's free. Freak. If I just declared a little bit earlier, it would have been so free. We are out of manpower, by the way. Non-adventurer dwarf moment. They do have to go through this hold, though. If they want to do that. And it's currently at a 168% defensiveness. So their siege ticks will take quite a while. They also don't have cannons. Those are some 71-day siege ticks. Have fun. You do 75% of your manpower on one event. True. True. That did happen. It was a very real thing that did happen. Uh, move you there. You should be safe there. 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 Ancestor smile. I forgot about this. Uh, we review our ancestors, but determining their wishes can be difficult. Fortunately, we can at least be certain that they will smile on us for purging their enemies from these tunnels. 5% morale of armies and 5% infantry combat ability for 25 years. Okay. Look out, probably bad pathing. These troops deserve to die. Like, there's there's no other way to put it. They, they just deserve death. Do we save them, or do we just watch them watch walk to their doom? Like, in what world? In what world do you go through the enemy army instead of just, you know... Not. We will save them. But only because I have no manpower. <laughs> like, we have no manpower, and I just want to win this war. But if I was in a funny guy mood, I may just let them walk in and die. They are more useful alive. They do have the cannon, too. We gotta spare the cannon. crazy that that would be what they did like I, I mean I should have watched out for it I should have been paying more attention to it like I guess it's not their fault at the end of the day I'm the one that clicked the buttons but like holy cow man what's the plan what's what's the plan 
Like, you can't tell me you have a plan. What are you doing? There's no way that's faster. There's no way that's faster. Just boom, boom. Actually, it is probably faster. I'll give him that. It is probably actually faster. But not when there's an army sitting there. Don't, don't put this on me. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, okay? I'm a map gamer, and even I know. You just don't walk your small contingent into a freaking enemy army. Sounds like a bad idea. Holy cow. They rolled nine, the shock face. Holy cow. Man, if the command would just roll a little bit worse, we'd be set. Here's my hot take of the day. Just leave those three provinces and immediately declare on the goblins. <laughs> uh, correct faction? No, but I'm not going to wait around. The, the pioneers are too strong. It worked. Okay, everybody. Let us pray to the ancestors. Praise the minds. We need a powerful mage that is very good. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a three, four, six. All right. Three, four, six. May this heir be blessed. Name the war wizard after me. Oh, okay. I mean... I'm not going to complain about a 652. I'm not going to complain. That's fine. Sure, you can be the heir. All right, now we got to kill our, re our leader. <laughs> His ass is going to die. Because if we form Vrokel Dromac with this guy, then, well, Ellie dies. So I don't know how we're going to do that exactly, but we're going to figure it out. You are a, the worst. You are the worst. You are literally the worst. You are literally the worst. I just... Mm. It doesn't even matter. Okay? It doesn't matter. They have zero troops. Uh, what's, what's the plan? Huh? What's the plan? You just want me to reset my truce with the command that badly? It's not even going to be a truce reset. I'm just going to take the rest of the land I need now. It, oh my god, dude. Doesn't matter. Azurekuma won't join. That's all that matters. Is that Azurekuma doesn't join. <sighs> Didn't a general in one case actually get white come with a high chance of death? No. As far as I know, it doesn't have any effect on the death chance. Did I send my cannon over here? I did. Good. I I'm somewhat competent gamer. Somewhat competent sometimes. Well, good news, ladies and gentlemen. I can take the provinces I need. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we're in Corrine Prime Lane, just took his paused. Yeah. Yeah. It's mostly the Corrine thing. So now I'm going to be overextended when I piece out of these wars. It's not a huge deal, it's just annoying. Like, we'll go and smack down his troops here. That's not a problem. I suppose it does give it time to flip over to Dwarven culture, the Hobgoblin provinces. Which means it'll core faster. Uh, we need to save our admin points. Once I take the command's capital, they should... go away. It's the kind way to say it. Ooh... You somehow got over here without access. Not sure how that works, but okay. And no manpower. Yeah, and I have no manpower. Which means we are not forming Vrkla Dromac. <laughs> we are not going to form Vrkla Dromac immediately, because that will just kill us. Because there are so many rebels that we'll have to deal with, and I need some manpower. I just need my current... Adventuring leader to die. Okay, 
Maruvad falls. The command is not interested in piecing me out. Oh. That's why the command's troops were there. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Because Gatask declared war. I suppose that's awfully convenient. He'll go siege down the other command stuff, leaving me to just continue my wars up here. Uh, that does mean, though, that he's at war with Gatask, which means I need to ensure that everything gets occupied by me. And not by them. Very specifically, not by them. I do want to chase down his troops and kill him, though, because then I don't have to worry about it anymore. Like, yeah, the command's tough, but these guys are nothing. Oh, now, oh, now we want to we want to go around again. Okay. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What if you didn't? What if you just took the path that makes sense in the brain? Hmm? Hmm? You ever think about that? No, you didn't. Freaking goblins, man. Goblins knew to go straight where to go. Dwarves don't even know how to do that. This is why the goblins will win in the end, folks. All right. Unless you buy my cryptocurrency, this will st this will stop the goblins. Actually, it's a it's a good investment when the economy crashes, because the goblins have taken over. Uh, my cryptocurrency will be, will be worth the same. This is a true statement, actually. It will be worth the same. <laughs> Absolutely nothing, but it'll be worth the same. Goblins are twice as populous as dwarves. That's it? I feel like they should be more. I, I feel like there should just be so many more goblins. Command, you're being kind of a butt right now, okay? I'm going to say it. I'm, I'm sorry for such harsh language, guys, but that, you suck. I can't even full annex this goblin. What does the world come to? Literally 1984. We might get more when we ruin this whole stuff. Invest in all clan coin. I promise you will not go bankrupt in a year. Look, this time it's not a scam, okay? This time the all clan is giving actually good loans out. Trust, trust, trust. Why are you... Must have all his troops on a siege somewhere. Yep. I do need to go and contest that siege by the command. I also want to unsiege my provinces, though. Are you in cube in this run? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe though. I don't know. Uh, in 1444, there's tens of millions in the TOS alone. The TOS. Okay, 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 okay. Abdul can and Joyers are still coping. They're molding, they're seething. What do you mean the cannon dwarves aren't, don't own all of the serpent spine? What do you mean that can't be possible? It can't be possible. The cannons of Abdul Kanzad are simply too strong, okay? There's no way. There's no way they would actually fall. Did you declare your own war? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I'll just chill up here. There we go. Good job, command. Thank you. There we go. Uh, too busy shooting gobs to take land. Mm-hmm. Too busy thinking they'd be safe forever without innovating, probably. The borders? What do you mean the border? What? What? Our borders are fine. We own all the trees. Well, not all of it now. Wait. Uh, I mean, we could wait. These guys will be in charge at some point, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we just take this and walk away. Hey, 
it's worth it, but I'm not going to be able to full annex anyways. I was literally hold a hold, like they can come at you from literally every single angle. Well, I mean, I would assume that there's like one entrance into the hold, which has its own logistical nightmares. Uh, but yeah, if they ever get inside the hold, it would be very bad. Yeah, no one else is going to be able to take it. We'll take it. We are at 103% overextension. We get rid of that admin efficiency penalty and we'll no longer be overextended. We are, in fact, a great power. Our diplomat is, in fact, very dead. Hire a new one. Um, convert this province. There we go. We can get back to colonizing now. Send 10 guys down there and hope that our king dies. Well, he's not a king, but that the current expedition leader dies. He's 127, so, you know, he's like middle age for a dwarf. But he's just not as good as the other guy. Salt Crisis, okay. Hobgoblin Separatists, deal with them. We went too far. Mm -hmm. Why... What use is it getting at someone who can come from above or below or just dig through? Well, I mean, true. Eventually, when you get, like, industrial-grade machinery, getting into a hole is going to be much easier. But, like, in this time period, even, like, the Vicky 3 time period, well, I guess with the, enough explosives, and you always have magic, magic just complicates everything, you know? Like, oh, why can't I get in? I can just teleport in. Oh, wow, why, why can't... I get in. I could just blow up the stone. Use stone shaping. You know, freaking magic, man. Wizards out here just cheating every day. You drill through the temple walls in like 100 years. That's a wall, dog. That is a wall. Not a mountain. <laughs> it's much easier to drill through a wall than to drill through a mountain. The tunnel is a very labor-intensive long winded process where the dwarves would be able to count up barricades and counter tunnels. Yeah, like... It would be very difficult to dig into a hole, but if you ever did get inside the hold, you would... It would be bad. Like, you're much more likely to kill yourself by causing a cave-in than you are to... Actually take out your target. Hey, look at that. We could go after war with these guys now. I don't really think it's worth it necessarily he doesn't want the land no no yes they won they did it they're free look all the synopti are gone he lost his synopti Ding dong, the Roger's dead. The Roger's dead. I mean, he didn't lose all of them, I guess. No, that's a probably. He did. The, like the, he's still the Raj, but his Synopti are gone. Interesting. I mean, that's good for us. Don't get me wrong. That, that, that's, that's good. There we go. Expand. Can I dig a diggy hole? Take 10 years. Get to it. I also need to develop this. And this. But, you know, I gotta core this first. Yeah, alright, Vlad Shikuma. Alright, Black Step Separatist. My really good general died. But well, you know who's not dead yet? Dane. <laughs> Dane's chillin'. Uh. I'll rival Jin Key. But Tiltagar is still fighting on the side of the Raj. What in the world? 
Did they get their independence somehow during the war? I don't know how they would have pulled that off. I mean, clearly they, they did something. They did. Huh. There they go. Ding Dong Laraj is, in fact, dead. And Tiltagar leaves the war. No. Yes. No. The Raj left the war. You understand why you choose to click diplomacy instead of right clicking countries? Muscle memory, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, this is faster, but just muscle memory. No good excuse for that one. It's just, just the way I do it, I suppose. Uh, well, that does... I did it again. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> there you go. I mean, that makes it to where it's going to be much easier to hold this land for me. I don't have to be as worried about the Raj coming in and dunking on me. Which is a good thing for me. See the reason he raised by clicking the button for the time, so he's a hockey. Yeah. But you know what hotkey I do use? The raise province button. <laughs> I got that one on lock. I know that one like the back of my hand. Why is that? It's, why is it? I, I, I guess you usually see the back of your hand. That's just a weird expression. I don't know. That's a weird. That's weird. Like, the back of my like. Do, you, do I? Am I supposed to know the back of my hand really well? Like, am I supposed to know what it looks like really well? Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Uh, Tony doesn't know what the back says. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh no, I don't know what it looks like. Guys. What am I gonna do? I'll never recover. Uh, I will say this. I am very excited seen a Rahim that does not have the command and Mega Raj. Though to be fair, it may be a little bit too early to celebrate the Raj's death. He could still pop back. But this Buvari is looking like he's going to stop that from happening. And this Tiltagar. Especially if these guys end up allying somehow. You can always use the select all cav hotkey. <sighs> Look. I don't know the hotkey. I don't know what. Sorry. Build that. Build that. You're digging. Don't build it. Step one, as always, when taking land, build fort. Build fort. Build fort. Step two. State it up. There are so many goblins, guys. We are, we are just a nation of goblins ruled by dwarves. Uh, purple worm tunnel. Dig around it. There's another goblin ambush in our capital. Would love to build more troops to meet my force limit, but uh, we have a bit of a manpower issue here. The pioneers don't help. They give minus 20% manpower recovery speed. Again, we could form Virgil Dromac at this point. But I'm gonna be real, the ideas of Virgil Dromac are not as good for getting our holds developed as this. Just saying. He gives minus 20% 20, 20 manpower flat. Oh. That is that is rough. That is pretty bad. He sent a merc company on an expedition for manpower. True, but then I lose professionalism. So that doesn't seem worth it. In fact, it seems the opposite of worth it. It seems not worth it. That I didn't I didn't actually state it. State and state and core. So it's just Virgil Dromac that needs to be cored up. Dwarves can move around, that's fine. You like Dromac sailors? No. Not when I'm trying to live. 
not what I'm trying to do well here. Uh, but we are looking like we're in a pretty good spot at the moment. Ah, oh, we can convert the slave pits. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We've definitely taken land from the command. Mm-hmm. Command is a tributary? L. I guess they were right. Magic really does uh, lead to the death of the command. L moment. This is the greatest the command has ever got to offer. They are a three province tributary. L bozos. <clears throat> Ritual and rest. Okay. And we can full core that. Alright, so we're now up to a force limit of 40. So we actually have a real country that we can build, which is nice. We could probably take these guys out if we didn't have the pioneers in charge. We may want to consider. Before I do that, I want to expand the admin here. About a month take go by. So it goes from 196 to 180, I suppose, but now I don't have the admin points. Uh, I want to repair this, I want to convert this, and then then I think we can form Virgil Dromax safely. But we're not going to build the Mage Tower that they're going to ask us to build in our capital, because that just is a very, very fast way to have trouble. I do have all this money that I'm just sitting on, though. feels really bad. It feels really bad just to be saving on this money, but I know that I'll spend it. Like, I'll spend it on digging holds and stuff. Do you guys not tell me? Oh, yes, thank you. Money, 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 money. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're still waiting for our leader to die, by the way. Hey, Super Spine Diamonds. The price of gems decreases. Well, that's not good. Don't appreciate that, but uh, I guess I appreciate the money. Kind of scammed, not going to lie. We can run some higher level advisors here. We barely make money off of it, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, we're going to convert this state first. This is going to lead to an increased amount of rebels. Beautiful hold, absolutely. Thank you for the stability. It's three stab. Stop drilling. Uh, we're going to have some peasants. So let's move up into position to deal with them. Gladly take General Hospital. Thank you. We now have 44 force limits. I will build up to that. We'll start losing money, but it's fine. We're running advisors. Cave collapse, unfortunate. We still have one expedition to do, by the way. So we may want to do that sooner rather than later. Uh, we can get Inno for taking Miltech. Tempting, but... I mean, it would give us access to pretty good manufacturers as well. But at the same time, I could develop this. For, like, free. We could build a Mithril Manufacturing, though. That's at least another duck in a month. There we go. That is now at... 40. We cannot dig it manually, but now it should hopefully dig to level 2 passively. And it didn't even cost us that much. In the grand scheme of things. Okay. 
We really, 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 really need our current leader to die. Everyone else is dying, so everyone I put in this army dies. So, Dane, you're in charge. Really, 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 really need him to die. Because otherwise we lose our air when we form. Colonize hold. Yes, thank you. You cannot beat me right now, can you? You may think you can beat me, actually. I don't think you could, but you may be confident enough to try. So we'll improve relations for now. Eventually, it won't matter, but for now, fine. Bike Dugong did not do well in this timeline. Take that prestige, though. There's the rebels taken care of. Hobgoblins are up next. I'm surprised. We haven't gotten rid of a single one of these hobgoblins yet. We're still he hooing, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. We are. We sure are. We're just, we're just hanging out. Okay. What mission do you have to take? Uh, it's a cheaper Abin advisor. Which I don't need. I also don't need to, to complete controlled expansion here. I'm glad I didn't click it. Like, everything in here is already colonized, pretty much. It would have been a waste of 300 admin points. Is that Dur Sikarai expanding? Yes, they are. Now, Tilzigar is on their border. They don't want their land, though. They do want Chain Grasper's land. Fine, I, I'm not going to be able to do anything about that. I can't tell them no. Uh, yeah, I'll rebel Tilt Cigar back. Yep, they lost a lot of troops because they lost their probby status. Probby probably gave, they gave them the increased force limit and they lost it. Their parts? Yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah. No, I should Should build the ramparts. 307. 257. Why? Minus 38.5% here, minus 48 here. Oh, there are no dwarves. No dwarves on this province. Vein of precious metals found. The miners at our hold come up to us with good news. They've discovered a small vein of precious metals while mining. The decision of what to do with this fortunate find now lies with us. Uh, devotion, admin power, and prestige, or money. 1444? 1444, guys, it's 1444! Uh, I'll take money. It's no longer 1444. Sorry. <laughs> You're getting repaired 79% of the way there. I think we need to wait for this to be done to move our capital. Otherwise, I don't know if it will like auto cancel or not, or if it will mess something up. And I don't really want to find out, so. Restart in its honor. <laughs> in, in its honor, so we can remember the good old days. Yep, we'll be able to complete this as well, and this. Nice. Rigorous researchers, give me a bunch of stuff. Thank you. Right, a new settlement. Uh, one base tax or 100 population. Population. That's like one year worth of settlers. Of course, we use unity. There we go. Cloth in Holas Crack is old. That's good. It's a good trade, good for a hold. Cheaper dev cost, at the very least. We'll take admin tech and mill tech. We'll do so. 
Woohoo! We're almost to the point where we can unlock our third idea group. Which is going to be a Diplo one. Okay, Rokal Dromac has been restored. Let's get to... Well, we're going to convert it, right? Let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's get it converted first. And also upgrade it to level 2. Um, what was I saying? That's well, thank you. My lights are flashing. They're flickering. Is the stream still alive? Okay, yeah, we're good. Not sure what's going on there. I'm just gonna ignore that. Pretend it didn't happen. You're in my wall. You're not. I promise you, you're not. These walls, if I was dedicated enough, I could probably punch through them. Right? If my name was Kyle and, and I was in middle school and I drank a monster energy drink, I could punch through this wall. So, so easily. So easily. These things are thin. So that court grind? No. Court does nothing for us. Just literally nothing for us. It's just, it's, no. You're bendy? Fuck. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about the bendiness, though. Uh, I think it's either trade or espionage. The problem with trade is there's only two nodes that feed into ours, and they're both... I mean, this one can be fine. But this one's not great. Espionage, on the other hand, gives us advisor cost reductions. Gives more fort defense with defensive ideas. And more yearly corruption reductions. Trade, on the other hand, would give another merchant. And gives me more goods produced and global trade power. What would court give? <laughs> AE impact. Okay. Okay. Oh, true, so the command is up. Really? Well, I don't feel like I'm fighting Ash Jakuma for nothing. I don't know why I'm not drilling you. He's still not dead. <sighs> you know if this guy was a 666, he would have died like 40 years ago, right? We, we can all agree on that. If he, was, if he had good stats, he'd have been dead a long time ago. Am I trying to control the Tree of Stone? Yes, I am. In fact, it's part of our mission tree. All this has to be owned by dwarves. There we go. There is our admin tech, which gives us an additional bit of ideas. I don't know where I was going with that. It just gives us another access to another idea group. Uh, we don't need influence. We're not going to be vassalizing anybody. Uh, don't need Explo. Don't need Maritime. Don't want to take Court. Don't need Diplo. I think Espionage is just the play here. Advisor cost reduction, siege ability, uh, spy network construction. It would give us more fort defense and a lot of corruption reduction. Spy network construction plus an additional 50%. I really don't know if trade is worth it here. We're only pulling from two nodes. One of the nodes will probably be poor for a long time. And we're not going to make as much money from trade. Actually, we do make a decent amount of money from trade. Pull from Shia, too. Uh, I guess that's true. <clears throat> we can pull from Shia, too. But, like, am I ever going to actually be able to pull anything out of there if I don't own this stuff? Policies. Policy wise, it's. Uh... You know what? We'll do a pull. Daily mandated chat interaction time. That's not always daily. Which idea group? We have espionage. And we have trade. Those are your only two options. I'm not giving you other options. That's all you get. Espionage or trade. If you tie it, I will just choose one. So don't bother tying it for the memes. Because I will just choose. Maritime. You can't vote Maritime. Maritime's not an option. We're already going to have sailors, okay? We'll get Marines. It'll be fine. Where Maritime? <laughs> Bro, we just played Mix. We just played Mix. We had so many Marines. 
My lights flickered again. This is a little concerning that my lights are flickering so much. Because it's not even storming. So I don't know why my power would be struggling. Defensive ideas. Yo, Hernara, you're going to be so happy. Already got it. We're already locked in. Maritime Riot. No, Faroese, you cannot have maritime ideas. I like the LEDs. It's not... It's like, it's all the power that's flickering currently. It's not just, it's not like my, my lights I have for stream. It's also just like my lamp that's on. It's the microwave flickers. Everything flickers. It's the power itself, which is very concerning. Uh, all right. Espionage wins. We will go espionage. Thank you for voting for the correct one. Uh, I want the Diplo tech first though. Do I? No, I don't. All right, 5% uh, production efficiency, 25% in no gain. So how long, how long do we wait before we just form the tag instead of waiting for our air to take power? Because it is probably about this time that we should be forming Virkal Dromac. But like, I don't want this guy in charge. He's not good. These are this is way better. <clears throat> Get a better air with blackjack. What? Level three hold anyways. That's true. I did say that, but we're almost done. It's at eighty four percent. We're almost done. Are you joining them? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Fort maintenance. I'd rather not. We can colonize this, though. We can immediately build a fort on there. Are you going to end up wanting my province now? Okay. Musket or bow? I'll take the... I'll take the mill tech cost, because this guy's going to go either way at some point. before, Probably before we take our next tech, so... Whatever. Uh, defensiveness. Orgish minority dwindles. Okay, let's go ahead and build a ramparts. Just kidding. Guess that. Build a mage tower here. The missions will require it anyways. <sighs> it's going to be the best in the world because people love boats and maritime ideas. Your own dwarf hold with boats and maritime. Then just play as... Of Del Tunger, please. Oh, it's a big gen. Just play as Of Del Tunger. Then taking naval and maritime isn't that crazy. It's still crazy, but it's not that crazy. Blackjack, harpies, and boats. The trifecta of any good dwarf country. Just some interesting fan fiction you've got going on here. Um, I guess I can't say you're wrong, but sure about that <laughs> you, you sure about that I'm gonna develop that a little bit <laughs> you know what you get when you combine big and jad bad with two d's nice true so true oh also yesterday someone was talking about uh how they could only view the stream in source that's unfortunately there's nothing i can do about that uh i just remembered it just popped my head that's on Twitch. That's, that's up to Twitch. Um, affiliates only get the ability to change the the quality if it's available. Only partners get guaranteed that. So nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. There was something else I was supposed to give you any, any resolution. Well, that means that right now th there's enough. There's enough bandwidth for me to use it. Like it is. It is. Fifteen thirty-five. This seems a little early. Maybe I'm just crazy. Yeah, maybe I'm just crazy. But fifteen thirty-five, huh? huh? Your partner? No, 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 no. So okay. So the way it works is. So there's like there's Twitch affiliates, right? There's Twitch partners. Affiliates is like the first step. Partners like the second step. Uh, partners get more benefits than affiliates because you have to have a larger viewership and 
partners are guaranteed that their stream can be watched at different qualities all the time, right? No matter what. Affiliates only get access to that if there is available bandwidth. Dig capital. I'm not digging the capital. We're moving our capital. We're, we're going to form our tag here. I'd like to wait, but I, I can't afford to wait. He's going to die like two days after I flip tag, so. Partners also get 60 months of odds. Two months of odds instead of two days. Two weeks. Yes, it's 60 days. Why are you a partner? Uh, <laughs> I applied a couple months ago, and they said no, but uh, I guess pulling back the curtain a little bit here. I was planning on applying again this month at some point. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Are you gonna blue balls again? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Me looking at the time. Yeah, no, nope, that seems about right. Uh, Verkel Dromac time. A reclusive hole nestled deep in the hills and mountains. Verkel Dromac was known as the Citadel of Dreamers, and where outcast philosophers, wildcards, and seers fled after being ostracized from Durvaza 2. <laughs> Missions? Oh, yeah, we can grab the. The treasure guy, we can increase the center of trade there to three. I can get the fungal farms for one base production manpower and four random fungi or serpent bloom. I can gain minus one local unrest in Tuad Duman Khan till the end of the game. I can gain 50 admin and 10 prestige. I can gain 50 admin and three development in our current capital. There we go. And I don't need this. Government reform progress. Yes, we will. Read of our government reform progress. And... I think we're good, right? There's nothing else I need to do? That's because I was trying not to laugh. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh because I was going to leave you guys on the cliffhanger. It was just funny because I got called out for it. Uh, yeah. Do that. Yes, please. New traditions and ambitions. I do want to culture convert this at some point, by the way, over to dwarf. Uh, we can immediately become a kingdom, and we will do so. There's plenty of governing capacity. There is already a mission that we can complete, which gives us a permanent claim on the jade mines, which we already have most things, but we can get those claims, I suppose, a little bit cheaper. Because uh, our truce with Blackstep is up. So we can go and take them out. We have government reforms to do. We have estates to deal with, but that's for tomorrow, not for today. You can finally sleep. That's right, everybody. You're now legally allowed to sleep. The sleepy dwarves are here. I know it's been a long, almost 100 years, but now we can finally rest. <laughs> green color is beautiful. I really enjoy the green color. I remember when it was orange. I do enjoy the green color. Uh, you're Captain Mill. Yeah, I know. I know. I think it's strange to form tank. That's not true. I formed it yesterday, but... Uh, well, if you go back and compare yesterday's Verkal Dromek to our current Verkal Dromek, you will see a couple of key differences between the two. <laughs> Number one, uh, we're in a much, much more stable position. The Raj is not as scary this time. There's a giant coalition against the Raj as well, which would be pretty sweet if that fired off. Um, but yeah, there we go. Oh, that's it for today. Uh, what kind of jade dwarves? Jade. Bruvari's expanding. Yeah, but Bruvari's far away and not my problem right now. And hopefully they just leave me alone forever. They won't. They'll, they'll find a way to get in my way. But it'll be fun. Restarts are going strong. Yeah, this restarts the one. I don't think we restart from this point on. I think we'll be good. Uh, we have plenty of manpower to deal with the disaster that's upcoming. I might need to build a couple more forts, though. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I hope you have a good stream. Chill vibes. Thank you. Appreciate you all for being here, uh, for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed the the adventuring dwarves. We stayed as adventuring dwarves for a while, which is what I usually do. But it was definitely different because we didn't expand as much, right? It was less about getting through the mission tree and more about not dying. <laughs> uh, we'll send a raid on over to Habibi. Uh, and that will be it for today. We'll be back again live tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm not sure if the new YouTube video will be up tomorrow or the day after. We'll see. Uh, but the VODs for the mix run should be up tonight. So that'll be on the VOD channel. 
Uh, that's going to be it for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.